Yeah. What's up, hey everybody? everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Woo wee! Man, we've had a busy time. Uh, Indeed. Indubitably. So much stuff, man. I mean, this channel is just insane. It's like we'll, we'll get done doing something, some big momentous thing. We're like, wow, that was cool. We never got to do that before. And, and two days later, we're doing something else that's even more insane. It just gets crazier and crazier. And this is like the beginning of the summer. Um, so much more planned. But uh, I think tonight we're going to be kind of recapping all the crazy stuff that happened in the last two weeks. <laughs> uh, has it been two weeks since? Yeah. Yes, it was, it was two weeks. It, it feels longer, and it also feels shorter. But um, <laughs> oh, yeah, it was two weeks yeah, that's, ago. Uh, that's some sort of strange time uh, continuum. Yeah, something like that. Mm. With plutonium involved. Anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, we got we got a good show for you. We have some new announcements too, which is. Uh, pretty exciting i see lots of folks in the chat room hello everybody uh, I, in the house. Cello uh, I would hello. just like to i would like to address prescott uh lang's comment about uh, me looking like a ride for um my lesbian cruise thank you <laughs> thank you for noticing uh the new look that's right i was really leaning hard into it uh, you know thought i'd just like go for it um <laughs> well, i guess lesbian cruise is a thing i don't know um, but, uh, no, I have been, uh, like I have a huge chunk of time off for the, for the summer. And, uh, and then in one week we are doing a family vacation to the beach. So next Saturday we leave for an entire week and I am so stoked for it. I've been buying a bunch of like tropical style shirts um, and I've been trying to wear as many ridiculous necklaces as possible. Um, I'm, I'm just, and haven't shaved. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be the beach bum I always hoped I would be. Ah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Definitely. Excellent. Yep. I even have, if you can see these, seersucker shorts, and they've got little fl uh, flamingos on them. <laughs> fancy. Very fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Excellent. That's uh but looks like I'm, I'm gonna be going to Arkansas soon to see my grandmother in a oh, couple of weeks. Really? It, it just popped up suddenly. It's just a quick family trip where just me, my mom and my sister are gonna pop up there and hang out for a few days so yeah that just came up like today <laughs> like okay cool let's do it okay all right um, cool when but, was the last uh, time you went up to arkansas oh man it's been a while it's been like um uh 2018 i think or 2019 one of those yeah yeah it's been a while <laughs> yeah so yeah should be pretty cool cool um so oh yeah so so let's uh let's address some of these um these new features that we have our, <laughs> our e and d channel has a couple new features all right let's hit it um first off uh here let, let me load up this uh website here um and then uh get this ready here and uh, uh okay all right, let's see here. Let me let me pop this up. And look at that. We're on TikTok. <laughs> 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 we got six subscribers. Or they're called followers. <laughs> Whatever. Now we had talked about TikTok long, long time ago, and we always we just immediately both agreed, no, we're not doing TikTok. There's no point in doing TikTok. Why then, Eric, are we now on TikTok? Well, we met. Interesting uh, story. We met this cool guy who wrote this cool book here. Hold on. Oh, hmm. gotta... oh you've got yours handy. I, I got mine in the other room. All right. Mark Weiss, legendary rock photographer who's. Um, 
who took pictures of just the, just at the back of the boat. That's a good one. Honk honk. <laughs> um, he uh, basically took pictures of every every poster me and Daryl had in our bedroom as kids. We're probably like ninety percent um, Mark's photography. Um, anyway, he we met him at the uh, at the concert and had it. We like sat down and and chatted with him on uh, Sunday morning or Saturday morning after the concert. Um, had coffee and basically he 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 wanted to tell us that you know he liked the channel and for for one thing he had already um he had already uh seen the uh larry's video um he had already seen the uh the record store video and didn't realize it was us and it was like oh man that's you guys so he liked he liked our content and everything but his big advice was for us to get on TikTok and he was showing us why because he's on TikTok and he was showing us the kinds of things you know he, that he's doing and we're like oh you know it's just for kids and stuff with like you know real short attention spans and but it's like no i mean each each um it's, it's almost like each generation that used the platform kind of has different characteristics and he's like the and basically like the the retro uh rock kind of genre that we're in a lot of that community is kind of like you know flourishing and moving over to TikTok or not moving but just you know growing on there and and there's plenty of content that kind of matches our our brand if you could call it that and um so anyway he basically talked us into it gave us that advice and and was like yeah man i mean you're leaving a lot on the table like that you, you get more exposure that way you know it's not about money you can't right. really i guess you can monetize it's about but, exposure it's it's yeah. just about kind of you know directing traffic from yet another portal to our main portal being youtube so right right yeah so, not a bad idea yeah so anyway, I already had some vertical videos kind of already edited for YouTube Shorts, which is basically the same thing. Um, so I thought, okay, uh, you know, Mark, Mark took took the effort to to meet us and, and give us that advice, so we could at least create the ch create it and and do you know do the things. And uh, anyway, great book by the way. It's a gigantic book. It's huge. It's like three hundred something pages, and it's like full full on like um glossy i'm just opening up to random pages that's just, it's it's amazing it's the opportunities really cool. he had and the people he got to meet and work with um yeah. it's it's actually it's, it's astonishing and uh hold on i don't want it to fall down <laughs> <laughs> and uh what's what's really cool is that we were talking about doing uh kind of a somewhat of a, a collaboration with Mark and um, w there, there's a couple of ideas that we have and he had some ideas to collaborate with us on, on separate things that he has cooked up so we're both sides are kind of coming together so th there's going to be something that happens there and obviously with his contacts and with his ability it's just going to be <laughs> it's, Again, it's it's something that's going to be blowing our minds and we're going to do it and it's going to blow your minds and it's just going to be crazy. So, yeah, this summer it's just getting crazier. <laughs> I just I just texted him. I was uh we'll see if he responds. But I told him we were talking about him. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, it's it's like that question like who's the most famous person you have on your phone? Like well, at the moment it would be Mark Weiss. Mark Weiss. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, so and yeah, obviously, like that was the point. Um, we're we're on TikTok, so uh, follow us if you like to. Just I guess do a search. Here, let me refresh. Did anybody follow us? Hey, yeah, we got two two new followers. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's growing. Nice. Um, I don't know what we're going to do on here. Who knows? We already have some like, oh, actually the, the first one we did is a music video, metallic music video that we haven't put on YouTube yet. Um, uh, for, uh, uh, green hell. Um, it's, um, I got something to say. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So that, that's pretty awesome. My mom's on here too. <laughs> you might've seen <laughs> that on YouTube shorts, but, uh, exciting times. 
more yet more platforms to update. Speaking of more updates, uh, we uh, have... oh shit! He he says, "Want me to hop on?" Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we would be able to make that happen. Oh, uh, does he have a link to this? Is he watching? Did did you send him a link, Daryl? I I haven't sent him a link. Oh, okay. Uh, That's too funny. I don't know. <laughs> tell tell him uh get uh throw him a link to this live show here, and then um maybe he'll say something in the chat room. Yeah, see, this is crazy. Definitely impromptu guest, Papa Smoke, and thank you everybody for for hanging in and uh, joining us tonight because um. We uh, think we figured out the the audio. But last week's um, our voices weren't very loud. It was kind of a weird. But let us know if we're um, you know if everything sounds okay. We're trying to trying to get everything good. So anyway, uh, I'm going to move on to the next part here. We'll figure out what we're going to do with Mark Weiss because that would be. I super am attempting cool. to. He just had a birthday too. Copy the link. Like what week. is this? No. Um. Yeah, crazy. Anyway, yeah. So the the next thing we have here is um another oh, uh, another is. feature, another thing that we have Copy is YouTube link. memberships, and uh, a lot of people were kind of confused about what memberships for YouTube are, including me. Right, <laughs> I've been on YouTube works. for decades, and I. It's it's a it's a new thing I guess kind of, and it's not quite as user friendly as I thought. Here I'm going to show you real quick. Oh great. The, um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here let me go to let me show you our screen here. Boom. Okay, so youtube memberships it's kind of like patreon it's basically where you have uh, exclusive um features that you want to give away to people um and uh there we go there we and go have now them. i'm back i'm back i'm back okay you're back um it, it's basically uh where users donate to the creators and the creators offer some exclusive type um content and, and there case, he is he just texted ah he just, yeah Oh, nice. Oh, wait, he's on here? Oh, yeah. He's on the chat. What's hey, up, Mark? Mark. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got your book right here. I was just talking about it. <laughs> um, to make this uh, this part, okay, so the memberships, it's basically just um, where, uh, like I said, it's, it's like Patreon, but um, you're just donating um, monthly for uh, exclusive content, uh, things like that. It's something we've been talking about personally on the channel for like a long time. And we're waiting until we had 100,000 subscribers before we did that. So here we are. So if you go to the front page of our YouTube channel here and you scroll all the way down. Dun, 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 right here. See where it says members only videos. You can see what being a member gets you. So there's no surprises. It's literally like like this video outtakes metal uh, metalhead teens at a record store this video is six minutes and 11 seconds what it is is it's six additional minutes from that famous you know youtube video where eric i mean where daryl and larry go to the record store six minutes of like unused material that was in that video it's like uh, it's like larry talking about his girlfriend just all kinds of stuff Anyway, uh, so it's just like bits and pieces that we didn't really know what to do with. Uh, outtakes from all these things. Um, uh, Metalhead Teens Revisited, that's when uh, they recreated The Walk. There's um, outtakes of that. Uh, outtakes of us making a music video, the Duran Duran music video, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, you, you know, if you click on these, you can't see them. It's like because you have to be a member, but that's basically it. Uh, and the way you do that is you just go to our right next to the subscribe button. There's a join button and that's it. And the people who are in the chat room right now, if they have a little symbol, like a little rock symbol next to their name, that means they're a member. So you, you get like a little icon and, um, stuff like that. So anyway, that's the spiel. 
and um, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's going to be <laughs> not just outtakes and bloopers from me and Daryl today making videos, but it's also going to be outtakes from like, you know, 13 year old Eric and Daryl. Cause we have a ton of that stuff. Ton of that stuff. We have um, a lot of like, yeah, weird little stuff that just wouldn't make a, a full video, but like, yeah, it's just like a fun way. It's still kind of cool. So, yeah. So anyway, there it is. And uh, I thank you, um, for, you know, to all the, the current members who hopped on board, um, like, a day a day or two ago when we first started this that's awesome thank you so much and uh yeah that's rock and roll yeah so we got mark in here huh <laughs> 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 it's awesome it's awesome um yeah and we had a freaking great time at the concert we have uh, a bunch of uh clips and things that um we wanted to show you from kind of like our perspective of the day where we go to the hotel and we go to the sound checks and we're doing all the stuff and we're hanging out and we're going, we're walking around backstage. We have it all filmed and we have it all, uh, ready. It was quite the whirlwind. Like, yes, I don't know. Like it just seemed like it was just so much stuff coming at you. Like at the time, it was just really hard to process, but yeah, it was cool. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, and also, I think uh, Larry is going to be joining us as well um, sometime. We don't know. Maybe. We'll see. So, you know, he said, hey, I, hey guys, I might be late. But... <laughs> Larry, where are you? <laughs> so do we want to uh, roll, roll some footage? Roll that beautiful Bane footage. Yeah, roll, roll some footage. Er, here. Maybe should we get him? Should we get him enticed and uh, just roll the uh, the the one clip I made with sound, just as a oh little, yeah, little yeah yeah we we hey, could do here's that. a we short that. video that we edited. It's it's less than two minutes long, but it gives you a, a quick little taste of just some random stuff we filmed with our phone like during the the concert, and it's got some epic stuff of Larry in there. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, and uh, yeah. So here it is. Yeah, so they record everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, there, I want you to look and stand out there like something is really important going on. Like, am I happy about it? See, that's up to you. Are you happy, Larry? Are you happy inside? Larry, what, what am I supposed to be? Larry, have we found Jesus? I've heard of him. Nice. So, Sean. Uh, no, that's what I was that, doing. That sounds, yeah. that sounds disturbing. I don't think we're going anywhere. Yeah, I don't. Did somebody push a button? Somebody's going to push something. <laughs> Did we not oh, push a button? Uh, well, we need to move. How embarrassing. We're still here. <laughs> we didn't do it. We promise. We got into an elevator and went nowhere. And then the door opened again. <laughs> Push, push the button. Good call, Paul. Okay, Last time I saw you, I didn't he's, see you. He's right. good call, Paul. Good yeah. call, Paul. Exactly. I hate the way you call me. You can't rely on me. Not in this frame of mind. Whoa! <laughs> 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 cowbell it's my favorite <laughs> that's pretty awesome uh so w we actually kind of show his full attire he had some uh high heels not high heels uh, <laughs> high <how> heels you... <laughs> uh what are they called uh, platforms there you go there you go they're more there. like yeah like 70s platform shoes he was like from the waist down he was like 70s pimp and from the waist <laughs> right. up, he was like 80s, 
like combo Michael Jackson slash rocker. I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> it was it was very uh very eclectic to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, in the band playing was uh Velcro Pygmies. Um they were playing they played uh uh some really cool covers. Um they they opened up the whole show. That they were first and then after that came uh Lionem. And uh yeah, man, Lionem's freaking rocks. I, I didn't realize how how big Lionem was really before I saw them, you know. But yeah, they're they're awesome. I had I no they... idea, but they they packed in the crowd and they were like I don't know, much loved. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and Jacob the singer, um, he sings on McMars's album, new uh, solo album that's yet to come out. The forthcoming has been coming for the last who knows decade, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every year they say it's coming this year. We promise it. Yeah, uh, but that's definitely gonna be epic. <clears throat> uh, there was a question here that I saw that said. Uh, Oh man, where is it? Oh yeah, the dude asked, did Kip ask for Larry's autograph? I don't know, we'll have to ask Larry, but I, you know, <laughs> Larry's pretty famous. <laughs> <laughs> Larry's pretty famous. <sighs> yep. Uh, so yeah, let's let's roll some uh, behind the scenes stuff. Oh that, yeah, um, we can. Uh... Yeah, that video, um, it's got uh, no sound because it's just, you know, yeah, why don't like you that. walk us through it, Eric? Uh, what are we yeah. looking at here? So, the, so this is the room. It's a uh, way, way this nicer is than I thought. Eric's room. This is hello, welcome, Eric. It had two balconies. It's like a round room. It was really kind of nice, uh, right across the street from the venue, and right here is one of the balconies, and that uh, I'm standing out with Kim. She's standing there as well, and we're just like thinking wow what a nice day this is there's the venue that's the venue um yeah right there where i'm pointing. <laughs> you're, you're pointing <laughs> so it's super close uh we wanted to make it easy and we did have an e and d meetup so we met uh paul in the um in the lobby there and tracy and angie they um everybody came to meet us and hang out and they all stayed in that hotel yeah and uh, we went to the Mars Music Hall, which is this right here that you're looking at. This is the crowd starting to fill in, but we were there all day kind of. Yeah, this is like the pre-show. People are just getting in, lining up, getting yeah. their place. And we're talking They're to They're in the background, the, X5. Yeah, X5 Podcast. We're talking to Casio Kid, who is on a local radio station. He's also a host on the X5 Podcast, but... He, he was the MC for the evening, so he, we had to get together with him because we were going to end up on stage. So he was like, really? <laughs> well, what's going on? Like, what do we need to do? So we're like, fleshing it out right there. Christopher, he had some excellent attire. My, had, my old buddy, Chris Carpenter. Yeah, he had an awesome shoe. Uh, his other shoe wasn't charged, I think he said. But later on that night, he had this... Um, uh, glittery jacket on <laughs> it was crazy uh but yeah it was really cool um yeah the first time i'd ever really been a part of something like this oh here's larry with his um well, well i think we show off his uh lower his half attire yeah. yeah yeah he's got the the beat it jacket the yep <laughs> um, and then he's oh, got these go. like purple bell bottoms with <laughs> <laughs> zebra stripe zebra freaking stripe. that's epic <laughs> lifts uh, like what the hell here's the food spread upstairs yeah yeah that's nice that was like the vip section mm -hmm. yep so the the upstairs so we kind of went up and down all night really just kind of there we are actually upstairs hanging out getting ready um and uh the x5 podcast guys were up there and um yeah it's it pretty pretty awesome uh here so we are is, backstage yeah the backstage was pretty fun too just to see like what's going on it felt like it felt like i was in a movie a bunch of times like just hanging out seeing the band bands just walking around doing stuff and always have to like not stare and just like okay i'm doing stuff i'm i'm important 
Oh, and there we are in the back in the room. green room. And there's Jacob from yeah from uh, Lineham. Lineham. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just like pretty awesome. Uh, you know, all that, all that, just because we we just said we wanted to like, I don't know, hey, it it went from yeah, we'll just go and hang out, and then it ex it, it it all of a sudden expanded to hey, we're, we're making this skit we want to put on our YouTube channel. And then it was like, oh, well, what if we play it live? Oh, okay. Well, what happens next? Well, what if what if we like step out of the movie onto the stage? Like, oh yeah, okay. It just kept getting <laughs> bigger and bigger. And then we're, and then this is the night. We're like, uh, are we really doing this? Oh, this is a uh, Velcro Pygmies. Yeah. They're, they're just, I mean, they they rock just right. They they have the look, the moves. <laughs> they rocked just right. Just right. They have all the like the 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 clothes. The energy was always crazy too. They're always like, I mean, it was insane. I could watch them all night long. Yeah, we're at the bar, <laughs> getting some drinks, getting the brewskis, them Bud Lights. You yeah. know it. <laughs> and uh, and that's uh, Big Keith. He's the one who drove the kit car in our in our little movie um, without being seen because he's real short, so he'd just kind of drive behind that thing. And <laughs> he's a stunt driver, we call him. Uh, Larry's just like there's Larry talking to some fans. Yeah. Oh, oh, these are McCabry. <laughs> this is the old school yeah, McCabry crew. The, that's yeah. Bubba on the left and Tommy on the right. Nice, nice. Here's original Andrew members of McCabry. <laughs> Yep. Uh, I don't remember who the, these are, but Ca um, Caleb was walking around with the camera filming a lot of this stuff. So, Yeah, props to Caleb, man. He went all night long with that kit and just kept shooting and shooting and shooting, got all this great footage. Yeah. Yeah, he did really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he's just hanging out talking. And this is uh, between bands or something. <clears throat> so in a minute, oh, this is Will Postian. He he um, he had a debut, and he's part of Reach and Teach, which all the proceeds, all the everything went to, to Reach and Teach, which is a nonprofit. It's a program that you can add to your school. Now, see, okay, so, the oh, way Linum started, right? Yeah, I had totally sheet. forgotten about that. That was like a staple of every 80s big act back then. Right. You know, they'd have the yeah. big thing covering up, oh, what's going on behind the curtain? You don't know. Yeah. You know? and That's like, funny, because I remembered that too, but I, I was like, where has that been all these years? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Why did it stop? It was such a, I mean, it's such a cool way to start a show, right? Because you don't know what's happening, and then boom, it, it drops, and the music starts, and it's like... That's a show, man. Right? Yeah, that's that's how you open it up. It, it's like, um, it's like, uh, oh, what's that? What's that guy cover? Uh, cl uh, oh, the freaking magician. I want to say Coverdale, Cloverdale. No, you know what I'm talking about? You talking about White Snake? No, the magician from the '80s. The magician. Oh, that would make the... oh, 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 oh. Uh, David David Copperfield Copperfield yeah that's why I felt like it was like he was gonna make an elephant appear or something you know oh, oh. <laughs> so here's a donation the, the big uh, X5 podcast given 40 grand to to reach and teach on stage and right after that happened the movie kicks in they're still setting the stage though which yeah. we didn't realize was gonna happen so there's still like roadies walking around like putting stuff up and stuff and that's and then the movie's starting so people are like what is that What's what's going on? Who are these people? And what am I watching? Why am I watching a movie at a concert? What's happening? And, and then, then after it plays are. out, then you see, and we're running going, up. Oh, I think the, uh, I think the uh, stage uh, is this uh, way. Uh, 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 and then uh oh, and then uh, the whole conceit oops. was like we thought we were just walking into the venue to go see the show, but we accidentally take a wrong turn, and wind up on the stage. Right, and we're like two bumbling guys who didn't realize we were up on stage. And in yeah. fact, it was scripted out because I have the script right here. <laughs> <laughs> all through the night beforehand, we just kept running lines. It was fun. Yeah, you know, it's short and sweet. Here we are, here backstage, we are backstage. Right backstage. After, yeah, we we just did our stage thing. We're like, oh my god, we can't, we did it, we did it, and we're just hanging out. 
and while we're out outside, I heard Winger start up with uh, uh, Waiting for a Heartbreak. And I was like, oh, my God, it's my, one of my favorite songs. So we rushed in to, <laughs> to listen to it. And we're sitting there hanging out. We're like, ah, oh, yeah, Winger started. Um, yeah, and then Winger played out the night, you know, and that was that was it. It's like got to hear, the, you know, the the big Winger hits. And then you got to hear the new hits from the, the new album that they just put out in May. Um, which is pretty sweet. Or was it April? It was one of these months. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah, they still rock. That's Caleb. That's Caleb. Our, he he was running the camera most of the night. Thanks, dude. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's only seventeen. You know, it sounded like he said, "I'm only 17. and I rolled back. It, you can hear it in the video if you if you watch the official video that we did on our well, channel. Well, no, no, no. That that's part of the song. No. She said, "I'm only seventeen. That oh, part okay. of the song, he's singing from her perspective. Right. It's like she's saying it. I'm only seventeen. What? I mean, that makes sense. But why? It's did part I of never... the song. It's always been part of the song. Why did I never realize that though? Oh, Prescott Lange in the in the chat room said Stephen Piercy 2.0. Totally, dude. Oh, oh, look, he jumps, he dives off. That was a little, that was a big Keith jumping, jumping off the back. People are messing around, but yeah. Um, Larry's uh, only taller than me with those shoes on. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. And I don't even think he is taller than me with those shoes on, maybe with his hair poofed up a little bit. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, this was after, and then we ended up going to um, a bar underground, underground bar, Un underground. And uh, we had a we had a drink or two there, and uh, until about I don't know one in the morning or something like that, and then went back to our room. But it was a nice, it was a full night. It was really cool. And uh, Saturday was was wild too. I mean, that's when we met Mark in the morning, hung out. Had had some coffee and Sunday. No, that was Saturday. Yeah, Sunday we were just like sleeping. Nobody, nobody did anything on Sunday. Remember that oh, was yeah. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think Saturday morning was probably my favorite. Uh, my favorite part. Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was totally, totally awesome. It was nice and um, chill. Mm -hmm. We're all just kind of hanging. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, I had, uh, I guess I didn't, I, I did post, um, I posted a, a bunch of pictures of, um, of Mark on our Instagram and our Facebook as well. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. In fact, if you're not following us on Instagram, then uh let me uh let then me it's not the real thing <laughs> let's see here it's not like a machine it's not the real <laughs> thing. so yeah that was uh you know we're hanging out with them in the morning um and uh got some pics with them <laughs> yeah there's it he's got a little mustache <clears throat> and of course got the butt because i mean i it, it seemed like everybody coming back from the concert bought his book you bought his book i bought his book and then christopher bought his book too yeah and it was like wow <laughs> we just needed to we just need to know about it um so shoot yeah so hell of a what, weekend yeah it, it definitely was um you know there is gonna be another one <laughs> kind of soon uh Oh man, I want to get it right, but I, I think them it's, boys um, at the the old X Five are just like keeping it rolling, man. Yeah, the the next one is going to be July twenty eighth, and uh, God, that's too soon. That's right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Here, let me let me pull up who's going to be because it's not going to be Winger again. Um, uh, let's see if I can just uh, put that up here. Let's see. Is that the Steel Panther show? 
Yeah. Okay. Right on. Right on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that should be a good show. I've I've never yeah, seen see. Steel Panther live. Yeah, no, I haven't either. Yeah, but they're they're hilarious. I mean, it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a wild one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's not gonna be like an, an official E and D meetup and go and um, we will be there. However, and it's a show happening in Huntsville, so. If you feel so inclined to hang out, then tickets are probably already on sale, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, we just heard about it. So, like, uh, yeah, it's going to be a thing. It's a real thing that's really going to happen. It's happening. They have, a fun, they have a pretty funny YouTube channel, too. They do, like, skits and stuff. Have you seen their channel? I have, have like, not. They do, like, they do skits. Dead? Oh yeah, yeah. They do actual skits. They have like this dad joke thing going on, and they. I've have, seen. Like, these, I've seen like, a couple of their music videos, which have a skit vibe to them. Yeah. You yeah. know, but I haven't seen any of their like actual skits. Yeah, they um they have this uh let me, let me see they have uh oh yeah are you metal it's kind of this mock game show kind of feel. <laughs> um, <laughs> I see. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to steal their uh, their videos here. But it, it's like this is the setup. It's it's pretty funny, and then uh, also the dad jokes are like really like they're really funny. They made me laugh. But you know, then again, I love dad jokes. Um, but yeah, like all, look at all these skits they do. I mean, it's crazy. So yeah, they're they're cool. So I don't know, man. We'll have to do a video with those guys. You think? I think they, uh, I think they'd be down for it. I think it seems, they'd be, they'd like be cool to, to work with. Yeah. Yeah. It does seem that way. <laughs> I think, cool. uh, I think old Kane and Max need to mingle with the Steel Panther. Ooh, Kane and Max. <laughs> yeah, need to get those guys out there. In lieu of Eric and Daryl. Yes, in lieu. I like that. A luau. I like that too. How about Kane and Max at a luau? Is that, it's not even anticlimactic. Well, here we are buffering again. <laughs> <laughs> here we well, are buffering again. What's, what's the deal? I don't know. You ever check your internet? Did you pay nope. your bill? I've never, I, I didn't know they bill you. I thought internet was free. <laughs> yeah, they just pipe it to everybody. Hey, well, it's I us. To, I was trying to. Find, I was trying to actually find shots of. Of us. <laughs> yeah, there we are. There, me, there I am, getting frustrated. Oh, yeah, we're, we're oh uh, there they are. So anyway, Kane and Max, right? Kane and Max. We have. Um, oh yeah, they're talking to Eric and Daryl. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, check that out if you've never seen a Kane and Max video. We only have one, but <laughs> we will have we will have more soon. We, we, uh, we've shot more than one, but we've shot two. Other only ones one is available at the moment. <laughs> Let's need to edit them. Yeah. Yeah. So cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wonder if uh, Larry's going to be joining us. What time is it? Uh, we got 15 minutes till the intermission. Uh, and uh, I have some extra new crazy stuff for the intermission. We're, we're going to, after the intermission, get into the behind the scenes and show some footage and some, some pictures of us with the kit car out in the middle of nowhere. We went to, well, we'll tell you the whole story of being out in the middle of nowhere filming this thing, and uh, it, it got weird. And in case you <laughs> aren't aware, we, we did a skit, which was played live at the, um, the concert that we went to, but um, it's, we also just released it yeah. last week. Oh, yeah. there's Charlie. Charlie's in the house. Charlie in the house? Charlie in the house? Is he really? I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? I don't know. Why are these things? Here, let me, let me plug this thing in. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Yeah. Maybe Turn all the knobs on. Man, there's a lot of knobs on <laughs> in the weirdest of places. I got my, I got my pick ready. Is it not gonna happen? Is what gonna is happen? going on? 
Wow. Okay. X Five Podcast in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work. That's so weird. It's usually it's usually delayed, but is it usually this delayed? Is it delayed for every dollar? Oh, maybe so. <laughs> maybe I do have dial up. We have to wait this. 500 minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. See, F- 499 uh, minutes. See where it says latest super chat at the bottom down here? It doesn't. It doesn't register. So I know. It happened yet. So I'm just going to hold this little baby right here and, uh, you know, I'll be ready to rock and roll in a second. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking David Hasselhoff um, uh, after the break uh, because um, we have some we have some pretty funny stories about filming it. And, um, yeah, things got a little wild. Things got a little bit wild with the huff. Don't hassle the huff. Don't um, hassle the huff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it hasn't happened yet. I don't know. And when it happens, you'll know it. Oh, you'll know it. You'll know it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we were thinking about having Charlie on the show tonight, but we didn't really have enough time to prep, so probably going to have him on a show uh, in the near future. So we can get some of the inside scoops on uh, all the insane things that he has planned because it's a lot of crazy stuff. It's so, so many things constantly. That he's just like thinking all the time, isn't he? Yeah, always thinking. Always thinking. Always thinking. Why is this thing not triggering? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to like uh, refresh the page? I don't know. Maybe is that a thing? Is it refresh? Well, yeah. Remember, it's just a like a a web page. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can. Oh, you know. Reload what? page. <laughs> Prescott said X Five got chip. They most definitely did not. Um, <laughs> because we're well, right. I reloaded it and um. <laughs> and now it's. I got a heart. Very strange. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, uh, there's a network dis- oh, there was a a network disruption. Oh, in California. Well, that didn't help me much. Hold on a second. Here we go. Let's see here. I wonder if I can... Um... Okay, check this out. Oh, yeah, look at this. I can... I think I can... I can do this. Um... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, our band names aren't working anymore. Watch this. I think I can make it happen. I think I can make it happen. Three, two, one. (laughs) Oh, wait, it didn't happen? (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) I'm so confused right now. (sighs) Well... Oh, well, oh, I, didn't, I didn't hit the button. Hold on at, at any rate, thank you, Charlie, once again. <laughs> you're, uh, you're too kind, sir. Too, too kind. Let's see. Ready? No! Oh! <laughs> yeah! And somehow you, somehow you made it one cent more. I did. <laughs> wow. I don't know why that didn't happen, but you know, uh, we, we had to savor that one. We had to yeah. um, stretch it yeah. out a little bit. But thank you so much, Charlie, X5 Podcast. Man. <laughs> so yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a couple of... Um, uh, I, actually, I guess there's a maybe a couple of pictures of Charlie too in the background of the the behind the scenes. But we'll hit you with that after the break. Whew. And then we have a um, bunch of questions. Actually, we've kind of collected from our Discord channel uh, some questions that we've never been asked before, which are pretty cool. Actually, um, I look forward to answering. answering Protocol. These. 
and then also on the notes here we have oh this is a weird story about um cows <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> um it'll make sense when you see it <laughs> and then um uh some uh, trivia that uh jared frank has given us about kiss uh kiss lyrics trivia game that we may play i already played it i got a hundred percent so i will merely uh guide you through it let's see, let's see what, how to... see how everybody else does yeah i was hoping to have we have larry on the show too because um i mean he's obviously gonna get a hundred percent too but uh anyway so yeah we're gonna come right back after the break if you're new to the show have a, oh wow look at oh. that oh wait that's the official one isn't it yeah. <laughs> Ow. Uh. nice See, you just gotta wait i'm on dial up forget who, who knows how things work maybe it was <laughs> bouncing from across the globe i don't know but now i know i can manually do those things if i really need to i don't know <laughs> well, okay. apparently you didn't because it actually happened eventually right <laughs> yeah um awesome well uh i guess we'll be right back after oh these yeah we're, we're doing this yeah yeah here yes. we go uh, okay. yeah stick around <laughs> you hitting the button Oh, I thought you were hitting the button. Oh, I thought you were hitting the button. Oh, should I hit the button? I'll hit the button. Okay. Bye. Bird watching is neat. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Surprise. McDonald's happy me. Hamburger. Soft drink. Fries. Oh, oh regular, regular size. size. You guys crack me up with your jokes. You <laughs> mean yokes. <laughs> When you buy a McDonald's Crazy Creatures Happy Meal, you get one of four different three-piece Tommy Popoid sets. All four sets combined, decorated with cutouts from boxes, make Crazy Creatures. I made a dragonoid. Crazy Creatures Happy Meal at participating McDonald's. It happened behind closed doors. Behind this door, this door, and this one. Remco closed a deal with Whirlpool and GE so you can rent to own these washers, these dryers, and these refrigerators for about the same price others charge for off-brands. At Remco, you can rent it for only a month or own it in just 18 months. And you don't need credit. Call now. Get delivery of Whirlpool or GE in just 24 hours. At Remco, you don't pay more. You just get more. Now, for the first time ever on the motion picture screen, it's He-Man. In a brand new adventure. With all your favorite Masters of the Universe characters. And introducing She-Ra, the Princess of Power. He-Man and She-Ra in The Secret of the Sword. Rated G. Now playing at a theater near you, check newspapers for showtimes. Hey, Mac! That's Toucan Sam. Whatever, Mac. I took a wrong turn last night. I'm starved. Where can a guy grab some breakfast? Your wrong turn was right. Fruit flavors will satisfy your appetite. Come follow my nose. He's got to be a shortcut. It always knows. Ah, Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal with natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. Part of this complete breakfast with a full day supply of vitamin C. Want more? Sure, Mac. Fill her up. It's a jungle out there. <laughs> Tuesday, Bradford finds the perfect woman. She is so young. With your father, she'll age quickly. Three's a crowd. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Then Tony's moonlighting for a surprise Christmas gift on Who's the Boss? All starting at 8, 7 central. Tuesday. Hoffman, I'll be right back with one to grow on. Okay. 
Isn't this a great car, Gregory? It's totally loaded. I can't believe Dad is actually letting you drive it. Hey, where's the seatbelts? Hey, don't worry about it. Be cool. Those things are just more trouble than they're worth, anyway. Please fasten your seatbelts. Did you say that, Gregory? No. It came from the car. Danny, I think this car's haunted. Well, at least the car has the right idea. You want to know something? I never, ever get into a car without buckling up first. Seatbelts aren't just for night riders. They're for everyone. They can save a life. So the coolest thing anyone can do when they get into a car is buckle up. Take it from a guy who's been buckling up for years. When your car gives you advice, it's best to follow it. Thank you. And that's one to grow on. I'm moving my feet for a taste so neat. The Kellogg's Pop Tart Taste. Pop, 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 pop my feet and stop. Until they pop up nice and hot. Because they taste so good. I'm moving my feet to the Pop Tart Taste. I'm moving real fast, but they sure won't last. Real food on the inside, pastry on the outside. Chase the dream with some of the most talented kids you'll ever meet. The work is tough. The price is high. The reward is... Chase the dream, Saturdays at 7 on Channel 2. you get a big 25-inch console color TV with remote for about the same price that others charge for a 19-inch or 17-inch model without remote. In just 24 hours, you could be watching a big screen instead of a small one. At Remco, you can rent it for only a month or own it in just 18 months. And you don't need credit, so why get a set like this when you can have one like this or this or this? Call Remco now. You get more, but you don't pay more. Hey. You can look at the water or brave the wreck. Oh, no, Tony. We'll catch up after this complete breakfast, including my vitamin-packed Frosted Flakes, flavoring out the tiger in you. Good, you'll need it. <laughs> Frosted Flakes, good. They're good. You'll show them you're a tiger. Yeah. Show them what you can do. Go, tiger. The taste of Tony's Frosted Flakes. Man, he's good. Bring out the tiger in you. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, wherever I go, he goes. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, I'll teach him everything that I know. My buddy and me, like to climb up a tree. My buddy and me, where the best friends could be. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy and me. My buddy, from Hasbro Preschool. Get set for an explosion of savings during Madison Square's one-day-only 4th of July sale. Many stores will open at 8 a.m. Stay cool and save money this July 4th at Madison Square. Mmm, super golden crisp. Rocks in the box, rolls in the bowl, and the taste is solid gold. Oh, gold and pops of wheat. Got a crunch to crisp and bowl. It's been moving and grooving. Where the taste is solid gold. Post Super Golden Crisp cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast with a taste that's solid gold. You're looking at a snapshot that could only have been taken by one company. Sony. We've created a miraculous little video camera, the Sony Handycam, a completely different way to take movies. Light and easy as a still camera, yet can give you two hours of incredible sight and sound. So why just take snapshots when you can take moving snapshots? Take home a Sony Handycam and turn any TV set into a photo album. 
Hi, I'm David Hasselhoff, and I'll be right back with one to grow on. No, you shouldn't cross the street against the light. But sometimes you listen to your own sense of adventure. But you're never too old to be careful. I think it's worth an extra minute to look out for your own safety. After all, it would only take a split second to make you real sorry you didn't. Like, maybe like I should wait and like wait for that signal to change. <laughs> and that's one to grow on. Get in on the act, because things are going to be rocking. And stomping. What next? When Boy George meets the A-Team, Tuesday. I'm rolling. We'll return after these messages. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? At slumber parties. <laughs> we want to hear Snap, Crackle, and the Pops. That's Pop. Ready when you are. Mom, better not hear a sound. Snap, snappy, snappy, sound you hear. Gotta get crackin' when crackle appears. But there's no stopping when the pop starts popping. And that crackle pop, pop coming to your, your ears. ears. Perfect! Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the talking part of this complete breakfast. Isn't it late for breakfast? Uh-uh. We're just early for tomorrow. Oh. I'm moving my feet for it tastes so neat. I really want to let kids know that illegal drugs are bad news. Yes, David, it's true. Over 100,000 teenagers were admitted into hospitals last year because of drugs. Yeah, but I'm talking about kids' futures. Did you know that marijuana can affect a person's physical and sexual growth? Yes, that's quite accurate. In a laboratory test, female animals treated with the active component in marijuana experienced a 44% death rate among their offspring. This is much more important than facts and figures. What kids should know is that marijuana has got more cancer-causing agents than tobacco, and a lot of young kids use drugs on a daily basis. Actually, Michael, the fact is that one in 18 high school seniors smokes marijuana daily, and then there are the occasional users which account Get for... Get this through your CPU. They don't care about statistics. You know you're right. I've got it. 
Just tell them illegal drugs are bad, so don't mess with them. Illegal drugs are bad news. Don't mess with them. Imagine the perfect video store. It would have a great selection, right? Right! Over 10,000 videos. Three evening rentals, so no rush, no hassle. Fast checkout. 24-hour quick drop return. Open late every night. Well, the perfect video store... Welcome to Blockbuster Video! ...is popping up all over the country. There's one near you. Blockbuster Video! Wow, what a difference! I'm Mayor Ronnie Marks. Please join us on September the 27th at the Athens Greece Festival, where we are going to have the world's largest toga party. Join us here, downtown Athens, on September the 27th. Thank you. Sunday, Michael is marked for death as an old enemy returns to even a score. Well, who would go to all that trouble? You indeed drop in and find out on Night Riders Sunday. Oh! Hey! Hey! No one's there! I guess that's why I shouldn't automate things sometimes. <laughs> hey! So we're back, everybody! Uh, um, anybody going to that, um, that uh, world's biggest toga party, by the way? <laughs> I surely am. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, boy, oh boy. <laughs> um Yeah, what uh what next, Eric? What are we doing in the second half of this exciting show? <laughs> well, I'm for trying starters, to get pumped. I upgraded from fifty six K modem. Mm. to uh, gigabit fiber. So hopefully that works. Uh, I did all that during the break, so... <laughs> Sally got it. Sally got it. She's calling it. Oh, yeah. The Athens Grease Festival. So, let's... Um... Let's, let's take a look at... Uh, let's just kind of show the, the kids at home. The... Uh... Oh, oh, by the way, before we do it real fast... I yeah, want, we wanted to say thanks to More Adventure. Yes, for uh, for for tossing in, giving us a super chat. We missed it because we were watching a show by uh, you know when it happened. But this is for you. <laughs> Thank you, More Adventure. Uh, also, <laughs> Papa Smoke said that's a nice mug. And speaking of mugs, <laughs> check this out. It's the it's the E and D live mug. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shown anybody. I snuck it onto our merch store. Y didn't tell you anybody. are the you are the only person on the planet that has one. I don't I'm even have one. one. I, yeah, I don't I'm even have one. one. Yeah. And um, I just drank coffee. I, I I wasn't trying to like advertise it, but I just saw it on my table. Anyway. Uh, yes, Daryl. What were you saying? Uh, oh, I was gonna. You, I think you started to show it earlier, but the, um, the, uh, the little skit we did. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, Let's bring that up first, and just kind of let it play a little bit, and we can talk about it, and then we can kind of go behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Very wispy. Oh. Oh. Hey. 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 Um. um <laughs> Yeah, so here we are. Um, yeah, so uh, so let's see. Um, Charlie had told us about the um, the concert that he was putting on, and then I think you, Eric, uh, sent me a text or something like saying, "Hey, I got an idea for like something that we can film mm -hmm. about the concert." Um, ba ba basically, the idea was I wanted to make a s a skit. Yeah, uh, like like we wanted to have a recap video to show everybody like what happened, but I was like, oh, that's kind of generic. Like, what? Here's the recap, guys. It's like, oh, that's great and all, but 
you know, we can do better than that. So let's make like a movie about it and have, have us stranded. And then Kit somehow gets us. I was kind of unsure about that plot device and Daryl filled in on this. And it was, it was kind of a, it, the, the initial idea was just like, I don't know. Like, I think that would be cool. And he rushes us to the, to the concert. And on the way to the concert, um, Kit keeps fighting crime. While Eric and Daryl inside are like, oh, really? We got to stop this guy now. And he's like, oh, there's a crime in progress. And he stops at a bank and, you know, gets this guy. Anyway, and there was like three or four different instances. It seemed like it was going to be pretty ambitious, though. And that was really it. And then when we get there, stuff happens. I don't know. What do you think, Daryl? And I wrote kind of a script. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really know what else to do with it. I'm like, okay, let's start this. Yeah, I guess it it all started back when uh, Charlie invited us to his place to meet him, and like you saw the kit car, and you were like, "Oh my God, he has a kit car," um, and I guess that sparked your imagination uh, to use it in something. So Eric sends me this script, and it's like kind of like three fourths of an idea, mm-hmm. um, but it was like really like ambitious let's just say it was really yes, ambitious it, it and i knew, was. I, and I, knew I knew in. right right i knew like <laughs> we, we needed to just kind of like whittle it down get it a little focused so i took what he had written and then wrote a draft and then that's essentially what you see it was like his base idea with me just kind of shaping it a little bit um exactly yeah and that's yeah. how we like to work, you know, <laughs> throw something out, start cutting away, deleted it uh, like a, like pottery, right? Like you're going to make a vase. You don't start with a little bit and grow onto it. You start with a big chunk of clay and you start scraping away to make your vase or whatever it is. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, that's exactly what we do. Make it like, pretend you have a billion dollar budget, go. And then you write it and then you start like, you know, coming down to earth. <laughs> oh, I've got 40 cents. Let's, yeah, uh, like, oh, what can we do with 40 let's cents? Let's see. Let's okay. see what, how can we can do something similar, but with right. nothing. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the entire thing, but you get the, you get the gist of the skit. If you haven't seen it yet, go, go check it out. Cause, oh yeah, this, this is the, this is the great shot actually right here. This might spoil a little bit, but who cares? You've all seen this, right? Oh, the Hoff comes out. Oh yeah. yeah. Baby. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> And the doors open up by themselves. Woo, man. Yeah, this thing is high tech, dude. Freaking <laughs> crazy. And, you know, and this was um this was actually a real um, production vehicle, but it wasn't in, in the sense that they showed it. They they used it on the show. It was never on the show, but, but it, it was, was made by the studio. Yeah. To represent the show. Yeah, and it, it they they um they took it out on promotions and premieres and stuff like that. So. You know the cast and crew were would be there. They'd show up with Kit, and they'd have the audience at the the red, you know, the red carpet event or whatever it is. But they would have the Kit car there, and this is this would be one of the cars they used. And inside the vehicle, the uh, w- was signed. It was autographed by the 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 cast. Um, I, maybe I, I don't know who all autographed it, but the scribbles. But um, but uh, yeah. So anyway, it was really neat to have, and that was. Um, Charlie's car. He 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 let us borrow it. Very nice of him to. He's like, sure, man. You want to make a movie with this thing? Okay, cool. <laughs> Tell me when and where. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. And then, like, so this was like the first narrative thing that Eric and I have done in decades. Um, yeah. I mean, ob- obviously, we've done a lot of like you know documentary style stuff and and live streams and all this kind of stuff, but right. um, this is yeah, the first was... time since we were kids, really, that we did, or or since we were in our twenties, probably. I don't know um, the last time we we did it, um, but yeah, like, um, like the business or something, maybe in two thousand three or something like that, maybe. But it yeah. wasn't really just us doing something. Right. You know, right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like just us doing something. Oh yeah. Probably the nineties since the The nineties, since the nineties. Yeah. 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 So it was just, oh, it was so so much fun. Um, and the way we approached it was like, 
let's just kind of uh, see if we can do it like we used to do it, you know, just like us and a camera. Now, obviously, we needed a couple other people, but I mean, that we did it very, very quick, very, very bare bones. Um, I mean, I, I we upgraded the equipment, obviously, because like we've got a bunch of stuff that we can play with. So um, I was just super excited because um, I... I had invested in a, a, a series of lenses, anamorphic lenses. Now, if you don't know what those are, it's a special type of filmmaking lens that a lot of big budget films use. And it's, I don't know, it's, it squeezes the image. I don't know. It To me, the thing I love about anamorphic photography is it is the essence of what makes something look like a movie, right? Because mm -hmm. normal lenses don't do this. Your everyday lens is a spherical lens where everything is comes in at the same angle. But uh, but all those movies I remember seeing, especially in the 80s, they shot a lot of stuff on anamorphic in the 80s. Yeah. So it, Indiana Jones, always, Goonies. Indiana ET, Jones, Goonies, that. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, and, and if you look at those movies, they look otherworldly, right? It's yeah. it's it's a movie. That's something you couldn't capture with this, like a camcorder, and I could never put my finger on it. Yeah, right. It, it's a weird, subtle thing, but w once once you lay eyes on it, it, it just feels like those those movies that you've seen. You, you already know the the look, so when you see it, it just automatically hits your head. Oh, cinematic! Oh, this is like a movie. Right. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, and it's easy to get. Right. It's, it's a piece of hardware. You just slap it on your your camera it's like not magic but you have to know that it exists first you have to know so that, that it exists it. and then you and, can be like yeah look i made a movie you know and they used to be super expensive and now oh they yeah just, i thought they were still expensive just now are low budget people starting to manufacture anamorphic lenses oh so and everything so is going to be cinematic from here on out probably yeah <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. So I was just, I was itching, itching to do something with these lenses. And so <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, like, even if it's, I, you don't typically get comedies shot on anamorphic. Um, but I was like, ah, fuck it. I just, I just want it to look cinematic. I don't care. Right. You know, we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll just, we'll just shoot it like this. Yeah. So yeah, we got to play with some fun toys. Uh, we got to do, you know, just us goofing around together. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it was a blast. We were outside the entire day for, as Charlie likes to say, nine hours, nine hours out in the baking sun of Alabama. I got so burnt. I, we all got so burnt. Yeah. Out in the, yeah. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I, I got burned. I got, um, uh, just, like just scorched like um, I, I i was just peeling for days after i hadn't had <laughs> anything like that happen in a long time I, I know I'm very I know. much an indoor person on the computer editing and doing my you know thing uh so i was like oh yeah next time i'm wearing a hat it, it's one of those things where you think okay this is this isn't going to take very long so even if it's sunny psh, no it took all day all day all night all, all day night, but just all, all day. day i um, mean you know I, Filmmaking is a slow thing to begin with, but we were trying to do it as fast as possible. But again, <laughs> it's <laughs> Charlie was like, I've got the perfect location for you guys. It's on this it's on this back road in the middle of nowhere, Alabama. No one ever drives on this road. <laughs> Every five minutes we had to stop what we were doing because here comes another car. Yeah. Here comes another car. Here comes another car. Wait for the traffic. Here comes another car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we got slowed down a little bit from the traffic, but also just things like take a long time. And um and because yeah. we were trying to do things in in the way that we did when we were kids, you know, just like a a camera and a tripod and um not a lot of support stuff. We didn't think to like, oh, well, you know, we probably want to like get some tents and set them up and stuff like that. Um, we, we will not ma make that mistake again. 
Uh, we yes. the, the second it was over, we're like, you know what? I think we're we're gonna inv we we had this idea separately too. Like you got you guys were like, hey, I think we're gonna buy some like support equipment and stuff. And like, oh yeah, I was just like looking on Amazon for tents and stuff. So uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll be prepared next time better. So, but uh, here, let's show these pictures while we keep talking. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These are uh, some of the pictures here where we're so we just arrived time. on scene yeah um this i packed is... a i rented a, a, a van to load up all of my gear to drive it over from georgia to alabama and yeah. uh, so we had a van full of gear and here we are on location and this is uh, actually my my jeep in the background that we use yeah. the, the breakdown uh, vehicle and then of course you got kit there this is Big Keith. This is the guy. This is the stunt driver. He he would handle the, he would handle Kit um, pretty much exclusively throughout the shot uh, throughout the shoot. Um, so it was very helpful and uh, cool guy. And um, here's and that here's is not a band. trick of perspective. He's actually he actually comes up to my knee. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I call him Big Keith. <laughs> Uh, hey, here's Charlie. <laughs> There's uh, Charlie. Some of our gear, Daryl's gear, 100% yeah. Daryl stuff. Um, you know, unloading out in the yes. shade there. I own a ladder. Um, <laughs> this is this is your box. What's in the box? And here's <laughs> the stuff that's in the box. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's like one piece of gear I rent like more often yeah. than a lot of other things that I own. And so I, uh, after renting it out, you know, I always want to make sure that everything gets returned to me. So I had to make a list of everything that's in the box. And I realized, oh, that'd be funny. I should like head this like little piece of paper with what's in the box. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. It's <That's> perfect. <laughs> What's um, in the box? This stuff. And like, you know, you can see it's like there's a cow. I mean, this is like out in the middle of nowhere. And it was <laughs> funny because there's a cow. There there were like people that would drive by. And roof. Rest. There would be people <laughs> that would drive by all the time. Like, I remember like there was some. Uh, there was Hi, what family. y'all filming? Yeah. Hey, June. Hey, June. Junior. It's the kit car right there. That's the Night Rider. Damn. And it was That's just a sexy fucking car right there, brother. It was just people driving by, sticking their necks out, you know, and looking. It was fine, but it's like after like hours and hours of that, it's like, oh man, we're we're just losing so much time because there's you know we had to stop for so long and then and then get back into the mo mode of it. Like, okay, what were we doing? Okay, okay. So next time we're gonna have you know cone. We needed cones because. Everybody was out directing <laughs> traffic, you know. Need cones. So anyway, add that um, to the list. Yeah, a tent and cones and some cones. And there's Daryl's camera. There's my camera. Anamorphic lens with all of its <laughs> schlep on it. Yeah. Schlep. There's um. So so the camera lived behind this shield here because it got so <laughs> it was so hot. It was basically just shading the camera. So Didn't it want it to overheat. Freaking, fry oops i just fast forward uh and then there's us oh this during oh, this we're is a rehearsal yeah. yeah we were rehearsing this is like we're like you hear trying something? to plot out okay so like where am i i'm gonna walk out and and then oh I'll, I'll drop to my knees here and yeah but look how picturesque this is i mean it was such a nice area i know look, totally like found it freaking rolling pasture hills and yeah, beautiful it was, trees it was perfect we're just like we need a we need a Alabama road out in the middle of nowhere, but green yeah. grass. And he was like, I know the spot. <laughs> Got it. Um, and a long stretch of road. Yes. That was also important. Road, right. Yeah. Um, this is uh, Big Keith um, putting gas in our um, in our generator, uh, in your generator that you bought, uh, that would power the smoke machine that would, you know, give us some smoke coming out of the hood. <laughs> so... Uh, I guess you're There's me some, setting up some uh, audio. Some audio going on here in your toga. In my <laughs> my costume. Uh, more shots of here. Stuff going on. 
And this uh, Charlie in the background. There's Charlie. Crazy vehicle. And, that, and that's his second vehicle that he rolled up in. Yeah. Uh, funny. Um, Dude has way too many cars. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, you getting the camera going. And you can kind of see the shot here. It's like the wi super wide, you know. Pretty pretty cool. Um, yep. Getting ready for a shot here. Got the slate out. Cam is poking her head out because, like, she had to hold this. Thing. It was very windy. Very windy. Yeah, the thing kept blowing over. Um, yeah. There, there's what it looks like. There's the old kit. Yes. Yep. And Charlie said he's he's gonna replace the engine. The entire he's just he's gotten it. He's, he's pulling the engine and replacing it with a bigger engine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh, and we have some Ooh, cool slow motion. motion. <laughs> oh, this is this is me saying filmmaking. <laughs> Yay! Um, huh? But yeah, we um getting ready for that shot. Um, this is through through the yeah through the 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 car angle where we're like, I don't. Th there's no one driving this car. <laughs> <laughs> And I had a um, a little bounce that I, yeah, I was to me filling a in a little bit. extra light, which yeah. actually I always use on the live streams. It's right here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Same one. Um, oh, I wanted to see what it looked like without everything, without <laughs> the crap. And so I just photoshopped that. I don't know why. I or, I don't know. I do stuff like that sometimes. But anyway. Um, the beauty of Alabama is you don't need to get permits. They don't they don't need permits in Alabama to shoot nowhere. Oh yeah. Oh look, see there's a truck coming up on the right. That's a random person. Uh, all day long people would drive up and down here. Rando. Yeah. Rando Calrissian. Uh, he's not looking happy. He's like, Ooh, how long is we gotta be out here? <laughs> <laughs> You got about six more hours. <laughs> There's a little panorama. I I could tell from from my uh, hand positioning there that I was in the middle of like figuring things out. I was like, <laughs> okay, now we need to. Uh, hey, uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> children. <laughs> my, uh, this is a cool my shot. Balls. I like this this uh, this shot. It was, a, it was a good way to have both faces in the shot. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, just a fun. It reminds me of a, a, like a Spielberg shot. Spielberg loves mirrors and reflections too. And like, he was like, how much stuff can we fit in this one shot? I don't want to move the camera. Can we fit it all in one <laughs> shot? Let's do it. That's kind of what this reminded me of. That So like one of my favorite things to do when working, when starting a project is, you know, you finally, you got the, the script finished, right? And then, you, so you just do a read through and you sit and you just imagine, okay, you just picture shots. You just sit the, dip, dip, you know, you're just reading the script and you're like, oh, and then, the, okay, yeah, and here, and then, uh, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> right. And then, yeah, so I, I just remember like early, early on, um, at this moment, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it's like, it's on Eric and he's like, Looking at us, trying to get the signal, and then I kick open the door and the mirror. So yeah, that was like an early, early shot I had an idea for. Yeah, that's cool. And it was, like and that. you always like think of ideas, and they don't always practically work. Yeah, you know, for lots of reasons, but this one just did. So I was like, cool. And then we had a safety shot for this that we didn't use. It was a reverse angle, but it seemed like it was just too many cuts. <laughs> yeah, so threw that one away. Oh, it was this angle. Yeah. Let's do this one away because we're like, eh. oh wait, no, your your camera's over there. Never mind. Um, but it was close to that angle. Oh, okay. So so the transformation into the Hoff had to happen. So he's like, you're changing clothes out in the field, and people are driving by like, what's that toga man doing naked? He's taking his clothes <laughs> off. It's weird. But yeah, it was weird. <laughs> ah. <laughs> The dude, did you yell car when they came? Yeah, yeah, I think that, I think that got yelled, got yelled <laughs> yeah. a couple of times. Car. Car. 
There's a, oh, a little animation. <laughs> anyway, and then uh, <sighs> love it. Is this a video? It's it looks like, like one. Message. It's got a timeline. Oh yeah. I don't know what's going on there. It's because you suck. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh Here we here's go. um and action. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Nice. Vertical <laughs> video. Who shot this? <laughs> Behind the uh, camera. Neither of us. So that makes sense. <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Kuda. Take two. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, th that little moment with the hands and everything. It's like I, I remember finding a picture of David Hasselhoff in, in that costume and he's standing there with his arms all like very awkward. <laughs> um so I was like, Oh, that's that's the stance, man. I just gotta like come out and be all like all oh, and it's all just weird. <laughs> um JPJ asks, what was the budget for this? <laughs> what was the budget for this? It, you rented a van, right? Uh, yeah, I rented a van. Um, I you bought a gas. I, I bought a uh, a, a generator <laughs> to, to power. A generator. I, I bought a generator. I bought a, a smoke machine that was powered by the generator. Right, that's true. <laughs> Um, which now you have and we can use forever so right it's not a, just a you know and a, and originally i intended us to um because uh, i brought lights you know i was like oh so we'll you know in case we really need to fill in some stuff because when you're in a car you're you know under a under a, a roof so you're shaded yeah. and things get really dark right right but th here's the thing when you don't have a big crew, a, a big experienced crew. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to put into play those kind of specific tools for filmmaking. So um, right. I just, I just quickly abandoned. The, <laughs> I was like, we're we're shooting this on the quick. Maybe it's not going to look, you know, as great as it could be. But no, it'll I look good. It, I think it did. I think it it'll look great. good. Yeah, it'll look uh, good. And so here, here's the shot of. I think we only filmed this one time too, of it coming down and greeting us. And I yeah, was, we only shot that once. Yeah, Big Keith is driving, and he's ducked down, so you don't see him. Even though there, it's very tinted, the the even the windshield is tinted, as you can see. He came up and the windows go down. He hit both windows and you can see there's no one in the car because he's ducked down. And that was a shot. It was a great shot. <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> so, oh yeah, okay, uh, Del Campo. Are you guys uh, going to make a video about how you edited and made transitions back in the 80s? Yes, we've been talking about that for a while. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. N not yeah, even a while, very... years. We, we will make that video. Yeah, it's very like unconventional, obviously, like to these days. Um, yeah, we, we need to really make that because so many, we get to ask that so many t times and it's like, we, we're kind of like considering, weren't we considering like shooting something and editing it in that style? But now it'd be so frustrating, but <laughs> yeah, it, would. it was frustrating back then. And it was like, that, that's the only way to do it. That was the only way to edit back then. Like there wasn't another way. Yep. Um, Okay, so the sun's going down. <laughs> you can see it's kind of golden hour right now. And then everybody's packing up. Oh, yeah, we're actually packing up. Yeah, that was it. We're packing Shoots up. Over. Yeah. These are two guys that just pulled over. The guy in the red shirt, he's just like, wow, cool car, man. He got out and looked at it, and we're showing it to him. We're already done. Oh, the blue, the blue shirt guy also. They're just people driving by. We're like, hey, do you mind if we take pictures <laughs> of it? And we're like, sure. <laughs> 100% of people were stopping to look at the car. They didn't care that we were filming. They were like, yeah. hey, man, cool car. They never asked us about what you guys <laughs> filming or doing or anything. It was like, whoa, look at that. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. 
I mean, that not rider car. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is pretty amazing. Like, I mean, you know, <laughs> just to see it out in the middle of nowhere, that is pretty awesome for sure. But I also would be like, what are you, are you guys making a movie? Well, well actually later we saw on Facebook, um, this area of Alabama had a, a group of people talking about, Hey, did you guys see that movie being filmed last, last Friday? Uh, you know, down by the, wherever this is. And everybody's like, yeah, man. One guy was even like, yeah, I saw David Hasselhoff at the gas station. They were like, what? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, everybody was talking about it. The whole town was talking about it. It seemed like, um, and then we, we tried to answer questions, uh, you know, and say, Hey man, this will be on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Check it out later. Um, this is a Photoshop. This is a fake. This oh, is a, a <laughs> this is a composite I made uh, of Daryl. This is two different photographs I photoshopped together just to kind of make a cool picture. Of so, okay, so th what this reminds me of is that w we did a couple of like far end um, extreme things on this production. <laughs> um, I'll get, I'll, I'll finally get out what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? So th this was made with AI. Um, and so Eric was like super excited to y utilize AI in the production of this film. And, and he did with the creation of the voice for Kit, right? Cause yeah. we, we, um, we were able to create a voice that sounded like the original Kit, but we could make it say whatever we wanted to. So we had lines written and then Eric was able to like train a model and then like feed it the lines that we had written um and then it would like say it and you could like you could do different versions do different takes essentially it's like working with a voice actor um and, like oh mm -hmm. i didn't like the emphasis on that you know oh let's try another one exactly. uh, there, th that's the one that's the one yeah yeah so yep. like so we used super modern techniques right yeah <laughs> and we also used like the oldest of like film trickery to create like things that people wouldn't even realize that we were doing because yeah. we, we did like really basic split screens because we liked um because we had like the the smoke right the, there's that wide shot with the smoke billowing out of the engine mm -hmm. um and then there's Eric standing at the front of the car, but at, at the time that Eric was standing at the front of the car, we didn't have the smoke machine going because we didn't want the generator running while that was happening to mess up his audio. So what we did is we ran the smoke machine with no one there. And then we had Eric go out without the smoke machine because we killed the generator. And then we just did a really basic split screen split screen with a little soft edge yeah and it was just enough to uh, no one will see it no, no one, one would know <laughs> so those were two different shots shot at different mm -hmm. times and in fact the funniest part about it to me is the fact that if you go back and watch it and you see eric standing out in the front of the car if you look inside the car you'll see the silhouette of eric's face because he was actually sitting in the car I'm in the car and I'm outside During the, the take car with my phone with in the, the air. <laughs> but see, that's the thing that no one will ever see or notice or even like, yeah. even if you think you see what you think you see, your mind are like, no, that's not Eric because Eric's standing there. Eric's standing right Eric? there. How could that could be Eric? No, yeah. It must be like Daryl or just like shadows falling in a certain way. I don't know. Right. And or the idea is that they're not even images... looking there because obviously the attention is you exactly. looking at your phone. Yeah, and these images happen so fast, you see it one time, and your consciousness yeah. picks up on the, the idea, and you move on, you know? Right. So, and, and you know, it, big movies do that, too. Uh, Spielberg does that a billion times. He, he just lets something go, because you'll only catch it if you hear the story and then freeze frame it, go, oh, yeah, I can see that guy in the background. Like, you know, that's like the stormtrooper hitting his head on the door in Star Wars. How many right, thousands, right. millions of people watch that and never noticed or, or, it? Or the uh, the in Game of Thrones the uh, Starbucks coffee cup oh, yeah, on the yeah, table yeah. yeah stuff yeah. like that 
but uh anyway oh and, and i use a little bit of ai art in the covering of of the set of us on the other side of the road when the aerial shot from daryl going oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it pulls up because so we, high we had all see all the us yeah, and the equipment the other and the camera the other but, uh, um, cars and the equipment and people yeah, and... i used uh dolly to to in paint all of the um the side of the road and it just generated a bunch of grass and it was like okay that's good enough <laughs> so yeah it's like you know a little bit little by little we're gonna be using ai to do stuff like this uh, so this is a picture of daryl as you know we joke around that our car bre broke down right uh, over here like the the um you know the this okay fine i can find the, the the whole um the the whole premise of the thing was the car breaks down yeah right here okay so right and we're rescued by kit but what actually happened was the irony the, the, this car actually broke down the <laughs> kit the door broke was down open the well this car did oh, actually yeah, 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 for real yeah. because the yeah. car door was open all day because when daryl steps out of the car the door's open so and it killed the battery so the set the the shoot day is over and we're like ah, i can't start the car we actually broke down so i had to get a jump from a random guy who was just driving down the street who actually knew charlie he was like hey man y'all need some help so that was the first breakdown the second breakdown was later on when uh i was actually <laughs> driving the kit car with yeah. daryl to find a location to to i oh, forget what were we doing so the so the first day oh we were we gonna get a drone shot yeah, yeah, yeah. for the first the first day we shot most of it and then we we ran out of time and so there was the parts where after i change into hasselhoff and we get in the into the car the the part where we get into the car that was like two or three weeks later yeah the interiors were shot weeks later yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So we went back, we shot the parts where we're in the car and we make the joke about um, Darth, Darth Vader's, Vader's bathroom, bathroom, which is from the pilot of Knight Rider in case anyone gets that know. reference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then and then we shot the uh, the drone shot of, you know, the car taking it like driving off and the camera goes up. Yeah. So we went to go do the drone shot and that's what this is from. <laughs> we and, we and were I'm driving and we see this like rocky road. It, it looks like the road, it goes from paved to not paved. And I was like, I don't know, man, this looks sketchy. So I'm like, let's just back up into this guy's, you know, driveway and then just <laughs> drive the, and find some ah. other road. This country road, we don't know where we are. And um, it, while I was backing into this guy's driveway, it just. It stalls out. Stopped. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> are you serious um i don't know man you're like uh give it some gas i don't know pump this or that uh hit that button uh, say this magic <laughs> word <or> something <laughs> there's buttons all in this place looks like do, do, for do, real do. darth vader's bathroom so it's like hit these buttons okay beep, 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 beep. <laughs> then do jack and all of a sudden hey man you guys need some help and we look back and the guys that were in the house that, you know, whose driveway we're in, were really cool. And like, dude, that's cool. Like, for one thing, they love the car. They're totally yeah. willing to help. And we're a really cool bunch of people. This is Daryl just standing next to the car as we're waiting. We called Charlie. He's going to come give, <laughs> give us some gas. That was the problem. Oh, and by the way, yeah. when I pulled away, <laughs> it said low gas. He he even says, asked about it. It says the words low gas on there. It's not a, hey, it's not a meter. This... this is kit. There's digital yeah. words that say low gas. And I was like, I rolled the, we had the window down as we're driving away. Hey, Charlie, it says low gas. Is it, is that, is that real? Or he's like, no, that's not real. Don't worry no, about it. No, it's fine. Man. There's plenty of gas oh. in there. Well, okay. We don't know. We're in this crazy car, whatever. <laughs> guzzling gas down the road and of yeah, course really. it, of course it you know no gas so anyway um here's another fo uh, focal length of the huff <laughs> 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 chilling with his 
<laughs> belt buckles that has an H on it. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's some guy. Here's the guys that 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 lived in the house, and they were super friendly and really cool. Here's the guy. Here's the sister there, and there's the dad here, uh, wearing camo and stuff. I mean. Super country, but just super friendly. It was very fun, actually, hanging out here. And then here's Charlie to the rescue. Uh, it turned out Charlie knows these guys too. Everybody knew, knew everybody. But well, they just... knew, they knew Charlie for sure. Yeah, yeah, but, they knew yeah he, he knew. He, he was like friends with a cousin of theirs or something like that. I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe that was what it was. But it was very cool. It was like very just like yeah, this is fun hanging out. We're all joking and stuff. We got the uh, the back open here. Oh, that's not the uh, the. I don't know if we got pictures of us actually putting gas in there, but anyway, fast forward weeks later, this is the interior shot. We didn't really have much pictures of this, but um, the, we were in a completely different area, not <laughs> yeah. in the middle of nowhere, but we just pretended like we were. I'm getting interior shots of the interface so that we could put the graphics over it later where Kit's talking and stuff. Uh, Daryl's getting suited up. And that's the end of those shots there. Um, the, um, oh, let's see if I have, I had, uh, let's see if this works here. This is, um, oh, is it not going to play? Uh, what is this? A, a video <laughs> it's supposed to be it's supposed to be video of um the um interior uh, a shot um interior shots of the vehicle oh yeah 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 um okay i don't know why it's not, that was not working but so oh, there's just like the top you know the, where the t-tops are and stuff like that <laughs> It's just like, you know, a bunch of buttons that don't do anything, but they light up, so they're kind of cool. All yeah, right. And then you have, like, this one. Oh, wait. This one. Oh, see, it says low fuel. See, you can see it. It's blinking low fuel, low fuel. <laughs> and it's like, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, it just says that. You're good. This is night 2000 right there. That's pretty epic. So, you know, I was just getting some cutaways. None of this ended up in the film, but, you know, just to make sure you cover everything. Here's the center console. Got some buttons that don't do anything, but they do beep, though. A lot of these buttons you hit, you just hit it and it'll beep. And, it, sound, beep, and it sounds beep. like an old analog phone. It goes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them have different tones. All right. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was pretty awesome. So you can make an old phone call on it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty epic. Um, This is a long video. Yeah, I guess I just shot lots of different angles. This stuff is all animating. There's screens over here that are running like some like Mac OS or something. (laughs) There was something (laughs) something going on on one of these screens. I know, it was weird. I forget what it was, but uh, another one of the screens is a camera. It's a, uh, there's a camera on the front on the front very yeah. low so when you're driving you can see through that camera in this monitor and they're not L- led monitors or lcd monitors they're they're like tubes yeah old um, crts so i was like wow these are really like tiny cool. little crts yeah this is some of the shots for the voice i just did a little animated voice in after effects and laid it over that pretty simple stuff um, let's see if I can fast forward. Yeah. Uh, and then see that there's a button missing uh, a little hole. So I, I photoshopped it uh, like <laughs> I wanted to fix it. I'm like, that's bugging me. <laughs> so in the final <laughs> film, it just looks like a normal button. Cause I was like, you know, gotta be perfect, man. It's gotta be perfect. Um, and then, um, hi Don, glad you could join us. Oh, here's some screens. So you can see the screen out of the right side. And that's where I superimposed uh, Winger singing. Uh, and the left one has like, Miles a away. <laughs> 17. Yeah. 
Oh, that's the angle I took. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, anyway. Uh, some more stuff here. Lots of random shots. Let me just fast forward some of this stuff. And then here. I probably don't want to let that one roll too much because it kind of it might reveal the um, the location in which all this happens. I don't want to do that. Anyway. Typical, typical 80s, right? Though, oh. um, and this is Daryl before we went to shoot. I was like, hey, let me take your picture, Daryl. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> let me do pose. <laughs> Strike a pose. Anyway. Uh, yeah, what were we saying? Typical 80s. I was at, well, yeah, typical 80s, right? Let, let's just make it look cool. But <laughs> um, all that stuff in the way, it's like... Like it was really hard to like start the car because to turn the key, there's all this like plastic housing around it and stuff, and so you had to like kind of wedge your fingers in there and just. Oh, it was like, hard. Yeah, it was hard to start it. That's true. And then like 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 every functional thing in the car was covered up by some piece of plastic, so you were always like kind of like trying to navigate, like just turning the blinkers on. You were like reaching around shit to ugh, kind of force it up and <laughs> like you you couldn't find shit like how do you turn the air conditioner on because like it's all covered up by like shit oh yeah <laughs> de definitely yeah but it just looks cool so and that's the only purpose of it, it right? right it looks it, cool but once he puts the new engine in it then it will be like oh now it's a good car like right now it's kind of like an okay car you know but it's like it's gonna be a, a solid you know but it is hard to drive though it's kind of a, a weird um yeah that that slides like you can be going straight but feel it going to the right a little bit but the steering wheel doesn't really move that much you're like oh and you have to kind of counter steer it so it feels a little wobbly like i wouldn't trust it at high speeds at all yeah. I I found that like kind of driving it like this, oddly, kind of let, letting it kind of bounce, kind of yeah, you know, like like it, it, as opposed to like because because you can't this is very you can't turn like this right, but if you yeah just kind of like push on one side yeah and let it go it it, it worked better oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to say uh, during one of those shots, uh, when we went to to get some drone stuff, we um, I I drove down the street real far, like at the end of the movie where you see Kit drive off into the distance and, and the camera cranes up. That was me driving, so I had to drive way way far and then turn around. So <laughs> you could start to see you turning around. Yeah, so I I went I found um a, a house to drive around in the in the you know driveway and when i pulled up somebody came running out with his hands up like this and i was like kind of like uh i don't know not like am i in trouble but kind of like that, that's weird <laughs> you know and he's like hey and then he so i i kind of stop and he's like you know he's like one second one second and he's like running towards me and i'm like okay he wants to see oh the yeah car. <laughs> and then he's like man this is cool I, I saw you guys filming and blah 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 and uh hey can i can i take a picture of the car and i'm like yeah sure he's like can and he's like can you take my picture with the car and i'm like oh yeah yeah okay okay and i'm like man i need to get back to daryl because we're in the middle of shooting but okay so i get out of the car close the door take his phone and he poses and i take a picture of him in his car at, you know and I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. And he's like, when is this going to, you know, how can I see this movie and blah, blah, blah. So I kind of tell him, and I'm trying to hurry it up. Real nice guy, though. And then he joins the Discord. And hi, by the way, if you're watching this, um, because he joined the Discord. And then he was like, hey, I was just wondering, uh, you know, hey, when's that video going to be out? I'm like, you know, <laughs> told him, you know, after June 9th, I don't know, sometime. But uh, hopefully you're watching this. It was it was a it was nice to meet you. It was a it was a fun little experience, um, but anyway. And, so. and while you were having that experience, I was having my own experience because I'm outside of the car. I'm like 
piloting a drone, right? Right. Okay. And on our first take, um, you know, just it's all about timing, right? You know, like, oh, the car needs to take off, and the and the the and the drone needs to go up at the, at the same time, so it's like the same. So it's this nice movement. Well, right. it didn't happen the first take. Uh, it was just like, oh, he went, he went, and then I went too fast or something like that. I don't know. But so he's driving, and I'm like, hey, I'm trying to like, and there's this like drone like hovering in the air, and I'm like trying to like wave like Eric, Eric, come back, come back, come back. And this woman drives by, and she's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she's like. Did you did they just kick you out the car? What's going on? Uh, they thought that's like, weird. yeah, they thought I got kicked out of the car, and I was oh, like, and I drove like, away yeah, fast. No, come like, back, come back. See you later, chump. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. I'm fine. I, okay, and she looked super concerned. She was like super concerned, like you know, like she was ready to like kick my ass or something yeah. <laughs> like, just wait i'm gonna track guy... him down I'm... just wait till he shows his face again yeah <laughs> we'll be waiting for him <laughs> that's funny it's like no, no no it's fine we're just <laughs> filming something uh i think we saw her right on the way back we waited yeah she's like, yeah yeah she came back again that's exactly right that's funny i yeah. didn't realize it was a kit car i guess it just I don't she know. did. She did not seem like the type who would recognize a kid oh, okay. car. Like, even even though she was it? like probably of the same, you know, the right age to to know it. But just she didn't. she just didn't know it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's the story of uh, of you know, Knight Rider and our experience with the kit car and all that stuff and we will be shooting more movies and stuff like that it was just nice to kind of get our feet wet again you know exactly I mean, that's what it was it was like a warm-up yeah. like um yeah like well like a year or so ago I, I wrote a um 15 page script um based on a something that we did when we were kids or eric did when he when we were kids which one? um uh matchmaker oh yeah matchmaker. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I like i got inspired and so i wrote this like big epic kind of like special effects filled like short film for us to do um and then I, and then it kind of dawned on me like you know we haven't really like neither of us have done anything in, in, in a good minute yeah. So maybe maybe we should just like kind of start small and build to it. You know, like that's yeah, that's a goal. But like, let's just test the waters and see what we need to do. And so, no, it right. was it was it was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're playing it. Yeah, you're playing matchmaker. Um, With all that awesome special effects. It made me realize that. Um, we it's, it's just funny it's funny how like you do things as a kid and like your, your world expands and you, you you yeah i don't know it's like the the more you know the more it holds you back in a way i don't know i don't want to get philosophical but essentially mm -hmm. what i'm saying is like like it it's hard to make movies like we used to. Yeah. Because we want to improve, right? Like we, we made movies back when we were kids, the way we did, because it was just the two of us and we only had the quality that we did, which was great for the time period. But we were, yeah. we were always like, it's not good enough. It's not good enough not good enough we want to do better we want to do better we want to do better and there comes a point when you realize that to do better you need more you need more people you need like you just can't do it on your own right 
Well, I always re- remember like hearing like, you know, a, a couple of things that my dad would tell me when I would ask him questions about like my dad wasn't a filmmaker or anything, but he, he was technical. He was an engineer, so he had enough knowledge to kind of know how m- movies were made and ha- how how stuff like that was. So if I had like this grandiose question of how can I do this big thing and he would generally have a, a good answer for me. So I remember asking him like, you know, hey, you know, me, me and Daryl want to want to make a movie. And, and do you think we could have a movie played at, at a local theater, you know, like Wild Oats 2 or something, you know, like, do you think that'd be a realistic thing? Like, you know what I mean? And um, and he'd say, OK, well, the way they play movies on th- at the theater is on film not on video so what what you would have to do is you'd have to you'd have to capture or digitize um or not digitize but you'd have to record the video onto film to release it but it would be so low resolution it'd be a reverse telecine yeah and he was he was trying to explain that if you're (laughs) if you were to watch one of your low res videos on a screen you would it would be terribly blurry and yeah. you would see scan lines and it w- it wouldn't be enjoyable. So, and I was like, Oh really? Well, how would you fix that? And he's like, well, just shoot your movie on film. I was like, Oh, Oh yeah. Because it's already on film. And he's like, that's right. And I'm like, yeah. And I could use a video toaster and all the graphics. And he's like, Nope. That stuff would also have to be on film. So you'd have to make your effects on your computer and then put that on film. And then those would be blurry and low resolution. I'm like, Oh, I get it now. And that, <laughs> I remember having that conversation when I was like, you know, I don't know, 13 or 14 or something. And I was like, man, I, like, how are we going to get over that hurdle? Like, you know, <laughs> and it was like, it was kind of a discouraging kind of thing, but it kind of reality hitting me going, man. Cut, cut to George Lucas working on that problem at that very moment. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it, like now like, that is I, not an I issue. I need to transfer this into so we can do all this. And then, yeah. 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 And nowadays everything is digital. You don't have to worry about film or anything. So it's like, yeah. And then I'd be like, oh, well, that's easy. How much is film? And he's like, yeah. You know, it's like a foot of film (laughs) is more than your allowance for a year. And I'm like, oh, really? (laughs) You know, like how much is a foot of film? Uh, If you uh, like, you know, I don't know, like, you know, a minute and a half. Like, oh well okay <laughs> you know so yeah that was a reality hitting you right in the right in the keister right in the keister but uh but yeah you're right like you know just stepping it up moving it up uh and and you still can run and gun and shoot stuff i mean things are easier and better and cheaper and faster and always being improved so you know we we can run and gun some stuff we don't have to because we're like in our 40s and we have money and contacts and people like we don't have to do it that way can i don't i don't want to do like i've done films with tons of people i've i've had my own like films i short films i directed 50 people on set um to me yeah, there comes up there comes a point where it's like you reach a threshold of diminishing returns, right? Like where it starts like hindering you. There's so many people, it's slowing you down and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, or but too many on the conflicting ideas and stuff too. Right. Kind of sure. Down. Yeah. Um, but on the flip side, like there, there's also like a bare minimum to make it like efficient to do like this level when you want to do this level, but you don't have enough crew, you're, you're working down at this level. Right. So, right. so it's really, it's kind of frustrating. Yeah. And, um, and I, I, I wouldn't say I, I was trying to work at this level for that shoot, but I realized if I wanted that shoot, to work at this level, we were only working down here. We we would have needed like you know, a sound guy and like a camera guy. Yeah. Add add those two people and like, 
That's all you need. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's all about the idea, right? It's like the technical stuff always figures itself out. It, it's like, it, it'll just come to happen. Things work itself out. Things just, it'll happen. If you really want to happen, it'll happen. But what's going to happen? The, the idea that you have well what's the idea it better be a good one right that's that's the most important part it's the idea it's like what yeah what, what's the script what, what what are you shooting here because i don't give a crap about how many awesome you know equipment and people you have what's the idea you know that that's the thing so um and that's the thing that's the most fun but the most difficult <laughs> it's like <laughs> you know, the idea right so but yeah, I I got to say probably my most favorite thing about shooting this thing was us being in it. <laughs> us being in it. Yeah. yeah we, we finally did make something for a client. We made it for ourselves, right? Because like we're constantly making stuff for clients. I, I, I'm a motion graphic designer by day and editor. I, I'm always making animations and videos for other people all day, every day, for months, for years. I just love it when I can use my own skill and my own time for something of, you know, my own passion. So, yeah, th this was something that we could finally say, hey, we were the client on this job. <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't know, like, I, I got to a point where I didn't want to be in anything that I did. I just wanted to be the director. I moved behind the camera. Yeah, but like with it being you and I, like it was. Ah, I just want to do more of that. Just like us, like we could play any character, you know, whatever. Just like bouncing off of each other, being silly, being funny. Yeah. Um. I don't. Know. It was just like. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do. Sure. More. I want to do more of that. That was fun. <laughs> And we shall. We shall, we shall do a lot more. Yeah, man. Well, let's get into some questions. Actually, let's do our uh, our our um, our cow story here, just to break it up. Oh, that's right. Completely different and new. <laughs> hey. This is so weird. This is a weird thing. Chain massively changing gears here. This is um. I don't know, something weird I found this week. It's an article about this guy who um. Oh, how do you even put it into words? Let's see. He, uh, uh, what's the what's the headline say? Man well, plays. Here it is. Okay. Man uh, plays covers of 1980s songs to rescued cows. Yeah. So it's like, why not? <laughs> this is his thing. He just plays like 80s, like hard rock stuff. Like, okay, hit play on the on the top one there. Check this out. This is cool. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. It's weird, isn't it? Right, go the next way. He does this all day long. It's, he, it's very it's weird. It's like a different but... song, different cow. Uh, <laughs> different day, different song, different cow. <laughs> it's so weird. Full screen it so he can see it. There you go. He's just thinking, <laughs> serenading that cow. Come by. Bring a picture on 
And look, he ha literally has horns. He has the horns already. <laughs> so weird. So cool. <laughs> He's rubbing up against his head. So I, I I'm trying to figure out is the cow like oh I, oh I love you you're so cool oh oh I, I, yeah you're singing to me this is great or is he like shut the fuck up oh my god <laughs> Jesus Christ I don't believe that he loves him so much <laughs> I'm a cow <laughs> I'm a this cow. is awful <laughs> you don't understand cow society we don't like this this is not. <laughs> We're like, that's music to our ears. This all, uh-uh. I think no, he freaking loves it. Stop. If cow I spoke English, I would just say, fuck off. But I don't speak English. I'm a cow. So all I can do is like rub my fucking muzzle on you to make you stop, hopefully. <laughs> Go to the next but, one. What else is he saying? Does he do any Aussie? Uh oh, this is vertical video. <laughs> oh, oh, he's like under his... Oh, hey, this is a good one. Hey, oh, thanks for the sub. Oh, here we Trinity. go. Nice. Bon Jovi in the house. He's got some good chops, at least. On yeah, the, right. On the, on the guitar. Oh, they rooster. have roosters too. Oh, the name James. Everything seems a western way. He just wakes up and does this. <laughs> yeah. What's the next one? So it's it's just. So I see good. he cut his hair. Oh, okay. This is like months later or something. <laughs> Into his career. Oh no! Wait, wait hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back. This is old McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> oh, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I like how on the um, uh, uh oh, what did I do? I like how they're not like too heavy of a song. It's not like Metallica or anything or like Megadeth. It's just like okay, this is chill kind of stuff. <laughs> the cows are always on his head. What is this one? <laughs> I would say do some white snake. Oh, that's your favorite that's right there. Super. <laughs> You're three. How are you like all the hits? How are you not bringing up your own music video of this right now so that you can <laughs> right. intercut it with it? I 
Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it like, uh, fits, but, you know. That's freaking nice. Whatever. Man, he's playing all the hits. Oh, what's this one? Oh, what? Oh, it's a different kind of cow, finally. Ooh. That's a variety. Oh, oh more, more Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. The, uh, the cow looks nonplussed. Right? Is it a girl? Kind of looks like a girl. Really? Bon Jovi? <laughs> That's funny. Hey. Yeah, I've, I've heard this one before. It's not impressive. Come on. Come on. How about some Wrecking Ball? I love that song. <laughs> I don't know. What are cows like? What kind of music are cows into? This uh, this uh, cow video is advertising this live stream right now. <laughs> hey, let's How watch it. Moo River. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Or uh. Oh yeah. Uh huh. They like oh. a, or, uh, oh. Clean. Oh. Butter Inception. Or, uh, oh. Clean. Inception. Oh. Inception. Inception. We're watching oh. ourselves. Inception. Uh -oh. Inception. We're watching ourselves. 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 Wow, the internet is a strange place. <laughs> oh boy. Yes. So, oh, so that was our boy. cow segment. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cow segment. Uh, oh, we look forward questions. to uh, <laughs> we look forward questions. to a, a repeating cow segment on future episodes. <laughs> we will always have one from now on. You want to answer some questions uh, from Discord? We had a couple questions. One from Macho Madness. Who Feed asked, me. Come on, come on, give it to me. Were you always me. happy living in Huntsville, me. or did you want to live? anywhere else in the country while growing up there hmm. did i yes you wanted to live somewhere else yes like while we we're growing up <laughs> so where do you want to move to hollywood uh yeah that's probably like my first choice that's what probably made me too yeah <laughs> yeah I, Even though uh, I knew nothing about Hollywood or anything like that, I was like, "Well, that's where they make movies, isn't it? That's where I need to go." Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's where everything happens. How am I going to make anything here in Huntsville? So, yeah, I mean, that was really it. it everything else, I'd I'd traveled to. Uh, I went to New York, visited it when I was a teenager. I thought it was really cool, but I didn't want to move there. Uh, visited new mexico uh saw the white sands went to arizona went all over the desert there didn't want to move there thought it was cool uh i even went to europe went to italy switzerland england uh france um i even went to hawaii i traveled a lot didn't want to live anywhere i wanted to live where the place where i didn't have any clue of anything that happened in it, it was hollywood that's where i wanted to or la at least never been there i mean i have now but like at the time i was like but that's where i want to go the place where i have zero knowledge of um but yeah that's that's it pretty much you know coming from a kid it sounds just about right right <laughs> um and the other question uh or another question here from uh also from discord mr mojo rising mojo rising 
He says, when I was a kid, my friends and I would argue over who was better, Motley Crue or Guns N' Roses. Hmm. What are your thoughts? Also, did you guys ever disagree over bands or music in general? Uh, that's a that's a good question. Uh, uh, back in the day, we did not. Back in the day, like we, uh, yeah, like we loved Kiss, we loved Motley Crue, we loved like we just loved everything. Um, I didn't start questioning Eric's musical taste until. The uh, in the late mid 90s. Mid to or late mid 90s. Yeah. Um, when suddenly he was listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> I got into electronic music. Silly, and fun, the whole techno scene. poppy kind of stuff, to, to, to say it politely. I'm not going to say, I'm not yeah. gonna say what I want to say. Uh, well, we, uh, so like it, it you know it starts to like you know with electronic music and the whole techno scene the rave scene and all that kind of stuff that was kind of coming up in the in the mid to late 90s i started going to nightclubs and like you know befriending like djs and all these like people that were into electronic kind of stuff and and so i started producing electronic music around the time when sampling and stuff was really kind of becoming easy to do because yeah. it was easy to do in the 80s on amigas and stuff with mods but it was more like you know more, more of a thing anyway so i started getting into kind of like techno and like dark stuff like uh like goa and drum and bass and jungle and stuff like that and and which that I was fine i stopped liking all the dark stuff I, I started to like get on me i'm like man like i I went to I went to look at the light side of techno and and stu and electronic. So then it got me down the avenue of like going to the extreme. So I went to like I started listening to like uh like like uh Eurodance and bubblegum pop and stuff like that. And then it went to like happy hardcore and Bingo and, uh, Boys uh, and... Gabba and stuff like that. And, yeah, <laughs> Bingo Boys stuff like that just like going all the way to the extreme and I stayed there for quite a while, for years. I, I just really oh liked that. It was just fun and funny and just weird. And I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't stomach it. I couldn't. Yeah, they all like, hated it. But it was just like, why not? It's making me happy. It's fun and weird and cool. Happy hardcore know. shit. Yeah, like happy hardcore. Whole, like, yeah, it's just like the tempos were like two, 250. Come on, yeah, Barbie. Like, let's go party. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, you know, we go to raves and you stay up all night, you know, dance yeah. clubs and stuff like that. And, you know, anyway, yeah, that that was like the only time probably in history that we ever really, you know, was like, you know, Eric, that sucks. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I love it. You know, it's like, I don't know. Did you like Eiffel 65? I did. I remember when Eiffel 65 came out. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. so let's get back to Guns N' Roses or Motley Crue. Yes. I mean, it was only the Motley Crue for me, yeah. I mean, I love Guns N' Roses. I mean, definitely. But, uh, I mean, you know, if I had to pick one, it would be Motley Crue. <laughs> so, okay, here, here's my answer. First, Firstly, I'll say, okay, I'll agree with you, Motley Crue. <laughs> I will say the better band was probably Guns N' Roses. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, looking back on it now... I love Motley Crue's first album, Too Fast for Love. So great, so raw, so much energy, so much like, uh, like it's such a unique sound. Uh, Shout at the Devil was the same thing, but like super polished, right? Like, like yeah. obviously, like a corporation had picked them up and like went, you are ours now. <laughs> um and then after that it, it just went into like how the entire music industry sounded like theater of pain on was exactly like the entire music industry sounded just like that they motley Crue then sounded no different than any other band 
at yeah. that time. Right. It was all just like super polished. Let's kind of hard yet poppy. You know, let's, let's strike a balance for the radio slash MTV crowd. Let's not make it too like you know offensive yet let's just make it offensive enough to make it edgy and you know it was just like it was so manufactured everything was, it was just like so manufactured but yeah too fast for love was just, uh beautiful oh yeah beautiful yeah. edgy kind of dark garagey sounding i don't know i did Right, I but still love, melodic enough album. to not just yeah. be just noise, you know, like right, you know, and, just... and very unique to their own personal sound. Like that was Motley Crue, you know, right? Yeah. yeah. Piece of your action. That's a great, great song off that uh, album. Piece of your action. Yeah. I see a lot of people asking like bands that that I like like Aqua. Like, I, I liked Aqua, but I didn't I didn't love like Barbie Doll, you know, and stuff like that. But like Aqua had a lot of other stuff. Ace of Base. I see somebody said yeah. Yeah, like, he loved if, Ace of Base. If you look up like here's an example. If anybody really honestly cares, I won't dwell on it too much. But uh, here, let me let me switch it over to my screen here. Um, like here's just a, for instance, if you care enough to know it, it, like this song, like, look at this song up. This is a good example of kind of the stuff I was listening to. It's, it's called happy hardcore because you can, you can headbang and thrash to it, but it's not metal. There's no metal. There's no heavy metal. There's no guitars, but it's kind of, it's a hardcore type of music but it's happy at the same time that's why it's called happy hardcore and this is a good example for force and styles uh uh song heart of gold is a good one <laughs> but you know if you google it or whatever you want to listen to that but that that's kind of the example that i was doing not really so much like um venga boys and stuff even though i did kind of like that but this was kind of more that i was jamming to um back in the day <laughs> but anyway kind of weird but anyway and at the same time, I was listening to electronic music at the same time, but I was like into um, Banco de Gia and um, Eat Static, like all yeah. this very intellectual, very spiritual kind of deep right. stuff. BT was, was kind of BT, kinda got yeah, in there. yeah, with that, we, yeah. we kind of jammed on that together. We kind of met in the middle there because I. I started to mellow out a little bit. I wasn't like always into har happy hardcore and techno and stuff like that. But like, and when I started coming back out of it, I started getting into more of the mellow stuff like BT and um, I don't know some of the other kind of stuff. But um, uh, what was his big Massive hit at Attack the time? was a good one too. But Massive was, Attack was very kind of what mellow. was that? What was that track that BT did that was huge? June. Yes, or, or June. Flaming June. Flaming June. Uh, yeah, Flaming yeah. June. I was like, ah, my birthday's in June. <laughs> um, but yeah, Flaming June by BT is was one of our favorites. That was uh, huge. Yeah, man, that was, that was yeah. huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, Flaming June. Forgot about that. I had to hit, listen to that again. I, know. I had a really like some the melody would like get stuck in your head for ev for days. And I forgot how it goes. I had to listen to it. Yeah, again. yeah, me too. Uh, like, we'll have to like roll credits and then <laughs> maybe maybe have a little listen, listen party it. after this <laughs> um okay let's see let's move on to another question these are great questions uh by F uh, flippy frogman or frogman Fun? uh flippy uh what was your favorite movie you and daryl created during your childhood oh. excellent question no one's asked this this before um so it, it depends on like when when you ask that question right like at the very first it would have been like our first big movie our first feature film even though it wasn't really a feature but like it felt like our first real narrative thing that we'd ever done was called the burglar yeah and that one was that was a much loved one by us and our friends you know and everybody we showed i mean you know because it was like the first thing we'd ever really you know, done that was kind of look legit. 
Johnson, thank you so much for for joining us. Hey. Hey, Johnson. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> we don't have a jam for it. We don't have a jam for that, but we, we need to add that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is um this is the burglar. This was yeah. our first movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, our first movie with like, you know, multiple camera angles and characters and dialogue, yeah. you know, more yeah. so than just me and Daryl in front of a camera, like right. talking to it with a microphone in our hand. So we're like, hey, let's let's try this. Let's try a movie. OK. Uh, and this movie ended up to be 16 minutes long. Like it has all these like action scenes and like, you know, cool stuff. <laughs> anyway. He pulls a big old baseball bat out of his pocket. Like, <laughs> Shorts. That's pretty freaking cool. And then comes kicks my butt. So it's like awesome. Anyway, this is a this was a great movie. Um, you know, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on our channel. Came out in 1989. Yeah, I remember um, sitting in eighth grade homeroom. I just started a new school, and. Uh, and I think it just like came to me. Yeah. And I was like, oh, right, sh -sh -sh -sh. right. Yeah. Yeah. You I just kind of wrote down that. the plot real quick and then like we expanded on it together and yeah. worked it <laughs> yeah, out. That's totally good. Um, um, so, but, but yeah, but if definitely. You ask this later though, like, like, like say, say you asked us that question uh, when we we're in high school. What would your what would your answer be? Oh, the, I mean, no, 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 like as soon as you like mentioned this question, easy, easy, easy. Wildos two. That's that's Wildos exactly two. would be my answer. That's what I was thinking yep. the whole, whole time. But but we hadn't made Wildos all the way up until like what 1991? Ninety, yeah. So like we made so many movies up until then. Like Drug Wars was our favorite movie for a long time, and that was made in nineteen ninety. So it, like. Yep. You know, our favorite movie changed all the time as we made new movies. But while those two became just the movie and, and you can't see that movie because we've never uploaded it. We haven't released it yet, <laughs> but that, it, it's coming soon. We've it been is talking a lot it, it, about it recently. Yeah, it, it's the big it's the big one. It's the, it's, it's like, um, yeah, it was just a mon monumental thing. And we were uh 16 or 17 how old were we in that movie we were old enough to drive but i think we were just no in I fact don't think i was you, I was you were old enough to drive yet that's right because you drove the car and we were laughing about how the fact that like oh you're not old enough to drive and you were driving like, the car i had my permit i think yeah yeah so yeah, you yeah. were 15 yeah yeah um but the thing i loved about wild those two was um, and I guess maybe it was in contrast to Wildos One, where it was like all made up on the fly, and, and it was weird. Kinda, yeah, it was kind of weird. It was designed to be weird. I mean. But but then, but then its sequel was like such a well crafted story. Yeah. With a bunch of different scenes and like and and like a, we 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 got way more people involved than we had ever done in any of one of our productions. Yeah. Um so it just felt it just felt so huge to me. What is going on um, with all the I, I like emojis and stuff? Oh, it's a lot of emojis. Why did it just suddenly start flaring up? Just blowing up. I don't up. get it. Anyway, okay. <laughs> um but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was it was the be it was the biggest. It was the we we're most proud of it and yeah, what well, we're definitely going to put this on the channel soon. I mean, it'd be It'd be weird not to. A lot of our personal friends were like, Where, "Where's it at, man? Why, why haven't you put it up?" But we're like, "I know, there's just a lot to get through. I don't know. <laughs> we're always doing stuff." But anyway, so yeah, that was a good question. Thank you, Frogman. Uh, and I guess our last question. Uh, oh, oh, that you already answered that, Del Campo. Productions. Hi, Eric and Daryl. I have a question. When are you going to show a video about your edited videos back then? Oh, yeah, yeah. On how we edit. We will do that. We will do that, too. Uh, we have a lot of footage of us editing, sitting down and editing. You can hear us talking through our decisions, decision-making, and you can see us 
live switching things when we're like, oh, play the sound effects of the clapping. Oh, while well, I switch it to this camera yeah. and do this. And you can see it all. We have all that footage. Like it's, it's pretty cool that we even thought to do that. Like, you know, just to have a <laughs> camera sitting on a tripod behind our computer, like I'm sitting here now. <laughs> and me and Daryl sitting here next to each other, editing and talking. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be an epic video because you'll literally get to see us do it. And, and then 30 years later, uh, we're still doing the exact same thing except 200 miles apart where we can do it, like, remotely and go, like, oh, yeah, should we, we need to load this. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we actually have video of us editing um, the business, that short film in yeah, 2006, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. We yeah. actually have footage of us sitting there and doing that, but that was like on a computer, so it wasn't like as crazy as the VHS days. But um, anyway, so yeah, look forward to that. That's that's gonna be a that's gonna be a crazy one. I, I've never seen it on YouTube. I've never seen any anybody ever like show us a video of them editing in the eighties. Like I, I would love to see that, but it just doesn't exist. So I'm like, hey Daryl, let's make that video. No one else has. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, hey, Johnson. Uh, uh, hi, Eric and Daryl. I have a question for you. As your younger selves, would you say you liked cows? <laughs> I suppose. Daryl hates cows so much that he just freaking left the room. He's like, I'm out. I'm out. Um, cow tipping. I never went cow tipping. Uh, I always saw cat. You know, living in in Alabama, it's like you drive by a pasture of cows. Like, hey, there's some cows. <laughs> I don't know. I never actually been close enough to a cow to, you know, pet one or any. I've never really. I guess I've just never really been around a cow before. I mean, other than like you know, a cheeseburger or something. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know, man uh vance did you digitize everything uh almost you know i still have tapes that that aren't digitized like me and daryl will think of something and we're like hey where's that one video or where, where's that one thing we did that one time and i'm like i don't know i think it's still on a tape <laughs> so i have to go back to my tapes and sift through them and you know but like what what are my ideas is to go through every single tape, make sure everything is captured and put the captured tape of everything that's done into a box and just I'll be like the, the conveyor belt. Make sure everything on this tape is captured, put it in the box. Once the box is full, now I can be assured that everything has been digitized. But yeah, I, I need to be very thorough because over the years it's like this tape, that tape. I don't know, man. I got a mountain of tapes. I don't know what's captured and what's not. I need to be organized with that. So, and definitely after having the E and D channel for so long, it's like, yeah, I probably should be like, you know, super organized at this point. <laughs> JBJ plays, and he's got the uh, the horns icon next to his name. Uh, have you ever had a dream that you um you had you'd wait what you'd you would you could you to do with uh you want you <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing to me uh you could do anything um oh, wait what is that from that sounds like it's from something oh wait that's from like a a, a meme video i i think i know <laughs> you're referencing <laughs> that, that you could do anything Yes, I've had that dream. Day in and day out. Uh, Rush is good music. Yeah, Rush is good music. Um, Cheddar Face. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about good old Cheddar Face. Oh, uh, here comes Daryl. Daryl the Cow Lover. You are very good at droning on uh, with questions. <laughs> me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, could you hear me talking or something? Well, yeah, because uh, this is the first time I've been using my um, wireless. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 the wireless. Gotcha. So, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, instead of like having to take out a, a wired monitor, I just like. Oh, okay, you can hear me. I could hear you throughout the house. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like, oh wow, he's really good at just like, yeah, yeah, yeah and, and this and this and this and this <laughs> and this. That? I would have been like, uh, yes. Next question. <laughs> next question, please. Maybe. Let me put next my one. Suit and tie on real quick. Um, uh, possibly uh, next Tuesday. Uh, but I'll we'll see. You in. Next question. <laughs> next question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, me and my dog did the Eric and Daryl pose on Facebook. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that one? Wait, what? Yeah, you didn't see that? You saw that? I, I thought you made a comment on it. Oh, maybe I did. I just forgot. Oh, oh, was it the the face? The is um, it like? Is your dog a German Shepherd? Was it the the profile? What, what kind of dog is it? It reminded me of a German Shepherd. That's what my memory is. Are you looking it up? No, I don't even know what to look up. It, it's on our Facebook. Oh. Let's see it. Now Papa Smoke wants to see it. <laughs> Let's see it. Mashy. Mer. So if you haven't checked out our Facebook group, I probably wouldn't do that <laughs> just kidding um yeah you're all gonna do it right now <laughs> uh just keep I mean, going until you see a smiling dog i mean there's so many posts oh so so i just posted a, a music video we shot with uh so our during our E and D oh, right, 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 the, right, the right, night right, after right, the winger right, concert, right, 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 we ended up at a karaoke bar, and um, we were filming um, Paul, who came in to meet us. Thank you, Captain on Coke. On the stage, and um, I don't know, he was really good. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. Ended up we were shooting it on three different cameras. Um, so I edited all the footage into like a music video and he's like singing and anyway. Oh yeah, and it gets all crazy right here. <laughs> anyway, that's the kind of thing you can expect. Anywho, yeah. that's the thing you can expect. Oh, uh, there's old from, Larry. From Larry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Making videos, this dude's head banging. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, where totally where's this at it. now? Am I gonna scroll forever? Uh yeah, just keep scrolling forever. Where's, hey, where's it's, it's me. There's you. With my f crazy camera moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is, that's the inside of Larry's jacket. That's crazy. He's he's nuts. Like no one ever, no one will ever know that exists, except him. He's just like giggling, like, hey, I know, I know. He's like, That's ladies awesome. and gentlemen of the jury, <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, uh oh, yeah, my see, client. And if you've seen the movie, now you get what the graphics are all about. <laughs> What are they all about? What are they about? These graphics. I don't see it anymore. Oh, keep going. He's going to see the Molly Ringwalds. See, right? you keep getting distracted. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh -oh. Yeah, distracted again. <laughs> like, like a <laughs> Kip Winger. Uh oh. <laughs> he went, he went one thing and oh, got distracted. There's, there's a uh, Red Beach. Come on. Come on. There's a just, just go until you see a dog. I mean, like, how hard is this? Just keep going. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Yep. Uh, yep. Keep going. Dude playing drums. Keep. Uh, I believe why in is you. That a half we can do this. Okay, let's see. But it, it, it even says it in it. You can go back and read it later. <laughs> yep. Creepy fucking. Yeah, yeah. It was a while ago. So we, keep going. Keep going. I'm determined. I want to. No, cool. yeah, it's me this opening the cool. door. This is I not mean, the dog. We're on a mission. But isn't that cool? <laughs> okay. It's cool. No, that was. Yes, cool. I know. <laughs> it's signed by Mark. Air guitar strings cracks me up every time. It was like the time I went to the uh, guitar display 
at the uh, Denver Museum and they had an air guitar. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. That's and right. it was just like, you know, they had a bunch of guitars hanging on pegs, I'd and then they had an empty. Oh peg. yeah, it like nothing hanging there. Because it was an air guitar. <laughs> Obviously, it was before this because this was when we did the thing. It was before that. Keep going. Do keep people going, like watching me scroll going. through Facebook. We... Um, I'm well, sure everyone wants to see the dog. I want to see the dog. That's a dog. That's a dog. It's a dog. It's <laughs> three dogs. It's four dogs. Hey. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> this is this is different. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, that that. Oh, oh no! It no. Over. Oh wait, what happened? Oh, I had to go back. Oh no. I don't think I'm ever gonna find it. Someone's gonna have to drop the link because oh my god, I could just scroll for. I I don't. Years. I'm not trying to make. F I I love it when people. I uh, know I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's. I'm scrolling. That's what years. I should do. I should just not say anything. Yeah. Oh. Just remind me. Ah, uh, oh, there it is. You are the champion, my friend. I think the joke I made at the time I saw this is like, why am I the dog? <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy well, isn't that freaking awesome <laughs> well, uh, we found it man we finally uh, found it <laughs> I love this picture I remember taking it um, we were at Rock and Roll Sushi yes in it's previous location yeah. um, I had I was in town to go to Larry's grandfather's funeral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was wearing a suit at the time. Oh, you were wearing a suit. Yeah. I was wearing a cast. Oh, yeah. Because you yeah. just had your, your on surgery. This yeah. yeah. On this arm, you can see yeah. kind of. Your scars. Can you see it? I don't know if it yep. shows up very well, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I had a cast. Um I had a drone. Mm hmm And I was filming we you have with a uh, drone flying around. We have, yeah, we have, we have footage, footage of that. Of that. Yeah. You were like trying <laughs> to do gestures and it wasn't working and you're like eh. Yeah, it was an early drone <laughs> that had like an AI yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't the greatest, but anyway. Well that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Nice, very nice. Well, I guess I guess that's the show. We're uh, kind of beyond the ten o'clock mark here. Yeah, we um, we got into a good, uh, healthy little discussion there at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like and our happens, viewers are kinda... been up in the eighties for a while, so I'd say that's that's pretty cool. I think all Excellent. of our viewers are in the eighties. In the 80s right it's very very fitting well thanks for the questions and the uh watching and the uh viewing and the <laughs> chatting and the all that kind of stuff i think this is the viewing fun. and the chatting yeah yes uh, we, we have lots of video of the saturday after the winger concert by the way i didn't have time to edit all the footage but i think that might just become a extra video that becomes a members only video for members which you know well th why not <laughs> thanks to all the new members because we've yeah, had a couple yeah, yeah, during yeah. the show yeah thanks that, so it's a really fun new thing that we're doing <laughs> there it is Yeah, Johnson. <laughs> was that louder than normal? I don't know. I thought Thanks, that was great. but that was loud as fuck. Thanks, Johnson, <laughs> and for signing. You know, being a member too. That's great. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, we need to start doing like a, a like a members credits thing. You know, shout outs during the lives or, or like something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, and it's kind of cool. Uh, 
kind of cough. You, you brought this to my attention earlier today. I didn't even realize this, but if you if you look at our channel on the front, and like I didn't I didn't yeah. enable this. I guess it just is there. It says our members. Thank you, channel members. And it has like the members on the right side. You can see, and like my mom is a member. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I didn't expect her to be a member. But... <laughs> she was like giving you an allowance again. Right? <laughs> <laughs> a monthly allowance. Um, but it's a lot you can less see than it, it over used here. to be. <laughs> These little round circles, those are... Anyway, you can see this on the front. It, you know, as you can see, we, we don't have a whole lot of members. In it. It's not a numbers game. It's just a... If, you, if you'd like to support, it's a fun way we can just put more stuff out. I don't know. And the stuff like... You know, I don't know. I feel like if it doesn't go anywhere, it's kind of like it's just gonna die in my basement in a in a box. You know what I mean? It's like we got a lot of cool stuff. I, I I'd love for someone to see it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, a lot of this stuff obviously is gonna be on our channel, but yeah, it's just the the extra bits. Well, and and, and course, here's something you... and here's something for the members. Like, what would you guys like to see as members? Um, like I, I'm often like just like thinking, sitting around thinking, oh, you know, here's like a thought I have that's kind of related to the channel, and oh, I could like make a quick video and pontificate about that. Um, would that be something that you guys would be interested in seeing, or um, you know, like like th this is the world that you see. I could like do a tour <laughs> of. The rest of the room <laughs> or talk about how like we set up our whole thing and i don't know there's like a lot of technical stuff that interests me but i probably wouldn't interest a lot of other people but i don't know maybe it would i like talking about that kind of stuff yeah um, but i mean there's like like it, it opens up a lot of opportunities for us to do like just like random stuff like i could just like it could be like vlog kind of stuff. Like I could vlog something or Eric could vlog something. Like we could just do like a little random stuff. Yeah. 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 I think, um, the, uh, like, like that, the idea of vlogs, I remember you were saying that, um, you're like, I've never vlogged anything in my life. And it's like, that's incorrect, sir. Remember when you went to the record store with Larry? Remember when you went to McDonald's with me? Those were vlogs, sir. <laughs> Literally vlogs. You know? It's just a slice of life, unscripted, walking through life, showing what you see. That's what a vlog is. You know? Oh, hi! <laughs> you know? So. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of uh, uh, us hanging out after we film stuff. Like Larry, oh man, I have some hilarious stuff with us. Uh, if you saw our Halloween episode, <laughs> when when uh, Larry's dressed up like Gene Simmons, got the whole the makeup, everything. Uh, we were getting kind of wild after drinks and after a four hour live stream. And I filmed a bunch of it just on my phone. I thought it was hilarious. I didn't know what to do with the footage, so it just sits there. I, you know, like most of our stuff, really. And I'm like members members can see this like it's gonna be anyway yeah so it's fun stuff uh fidel carda i wonder why that's this hasn't come through yet this thing is really kind of lagged out isn't it hey here's something well, actually it's probably gonna hit us in a few seconds fidel what's this can you read that uh Hold on, let me let me switch my camera angle here. Uh, how do you prove you are who you say you are online? Me as a kid. Why why did I write? I I wrote that like months ago. Uh, That's my th I love post-it notes. By the way, I I <laughs> write on post-it notes and, and put them on my monitors. Um, so Eric and I have run into this quite a bit, like where suddenly on Instagram, somebody is like, you know, taking our McDonald's video 
mm. and posting it to the world and they're getting like thousands and tens of thousands of views you know because oh, yeah. they're just like one of these sites that just recycles other people's yeah, just videos take funny stuff online and repost it yeah yeah and it's really fucking annoying um <laughs> Yeah. So like, t so like, so we're we're always like, like, uh, what do we do? Do we report them or do we just like? Because we're not a police. We don't. We're not trying to shame you or trying to get angry. It's just like, we want stuff to be seen, but it's not random stuff. It's coming from us. So can you at least just put it? Say it came from us. Like, that's you know, that'd be great. But it's like it's almost like. You know, they'll just rip off a video and put it online and pretend that it just appeared. I don't know. Well, it's, 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 like weird. They, it's like they don't even think about it. it yeah, it's just like they, they just grab it and throw it out, you know. Yeah. But and, and it's it's made me kind of like get philosophical about this point, which is what made me write this. Um, <laughs> like because I, I was I was having to view this from an ex external point of view right mm -hmm. um here is this video of this child you know going oh hi i'm at mcdonald's and this is 1989 and mm -hmm. and i'm like that's me that is that is me that is I, i'm just like oh, oh there it is Thank you for that. Uh oh, that's <laughs> caught on my shirt. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and it, it's uh, a it's a real weird thing to wrap your head around the fact that, that is you. Yeah. Because it, it's you thirty years ago, right? Um, yeah. But then, like, you get all these people co commenting on this video, thousands and thousands of people commenting on this video. And then I'm commenting on their comments. Mm -hmm. But I'm also trying to imagine this from an external point of view, like from their point of view, right? Like, oh, they just see some random video of some random child from the 80s. Yeah. And then some dude comes along and is like, oh, yeah, that was me. I mean, you know, we could accidentally do stuff like that, too. Um but it, but like, it, like the thing that like, <laughs> I mean, I see what you mean. It is annoying. It's like, is well, it like are these people gonna believe me? <laughs> like like anybody right. could come along and go like, oh no, that was me, man. Right? But no, that's yeah, no, actually I I'm the one human being on this planet that that actually is me. Right? Yeah. 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 So yeah. out of millions of people, I'm the one person who's like, uh, but no, seriously, it was me. And like, yeah, whatever. Right. Well, here, here's a here's a question from Prescott. It says, don't you guys also post other people? He says, like, other people's content. But he says, aging metal bands uses other content. But the, the idea is that, without context, oh but we we you're, expressly you're kind of we expressly what, what, say within the context of those videos yeah you 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 know that those people are who they are right we explicitly say hey we're looking at motley crew now this is vince neal right you know hey now we're looking at you know white snake and white snake well, poison it, it's, it's not a like guns and roses piece of content with no context and no credit, no name or anything like that. I mean, you know, these are celebrities that everybody knows. So, so it's not in the same realm, but also, and it's us talking about them. We're, we're, we're like sitting there going, Oh, I love these guys back when we were kids or like right. everyone knows this song or, you know, like, like we, we give context to this video. This is some random person out in the, in the world without any context without any conversation without any subject line yeah posting yeah. this video well but uh, so on the other other side i know we didn't just post this as its own 
a uh, piece of content, but just 10 minutes ago or whatever it was, we were watching a guy sing songs to his cows and we never credited the guy. We never said who it was or how to find this guy. We, we well, so can, no, but we did say there is this random guy on this web page. We showed the web page. We right, showed that could, it wasn't could Google it. us. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, we, we weren't we, trying to pass it off as our content. We gave but, it some context. We gave it context, right? But but I understand how how you could slip into that and not realize it, and maybe not mean, you know, ill. Yeah, but the, will. no, every every instance of these Instagram videos that have and and there has been many, many. This hasn't happened once. This hasn't happened twice. Three, yeah. This hasn't happened three times. Three times. Many, many, many. I don't know how many times I've had to send oh, yeah. messages to people going. Three days us. ago, this happened on on Instagram. It, it was a it was a meme Instagrammer with like over two hundred thousand subscribers, and it was like you know hit us again. It was like you know Instagram yeah, it all the time. Twitter, like yeah, a big it's, time it's, Twitter guy. Yeah, that, that, I remember that one. <laughs> oh well, yeah. It's just, I, I guess it doesn't bug me as much as it bugs you, but it I bugs, understand. It, it bugs me. It bugs yeah. me because. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's like that's yeah. us. I it was us thirty years ago, but that's us. Yeah, it's still us. <laughs> Yeah, it uh, it is pretty weak. But every time we contact somebody, they'll go, "Oh, I'm sorry," and then they'll they'll give us credit. But it's like, dang, we gotta keep doing that. I don't want to be like a police. I don't want to be like, hey, 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 now. I know, I know, like, I know. I'm totally with you. Like, I don't want to be. Like, hey, you're up past your bedtime. I, you know? it's like, <laughs> I don't want to be okay. the parent. Okay, Dad. Yeah, it sucks. JPJ says uh, watermark everything. And the, the problem with that is that we don't want the content with the watermark. Like, that's not part of the experience that we want people to see. Right. You know, it, it just, uh, you know, it's an eyesore. It's just, it feels, I don't know, it has lots of different stories behind it. When you see a watermark, it tells you all kinds of things subconsciously. It says, oh, well, this guy didn't want his stuff ripped off. And, oh, this guy's probably, you know, stickler for that kind of thing oh this it, it puts stories in your head as to why that's there and it's like oh this guy thinks it's so special that he has to have a watermark it's it's too many connotations i think and you know or maybe that's just me when i see a watermark i have like 10 stories in my head instantly you know and it's like i don't want that experience i want someone to see the content for what it is and not start thinking behind the scenes or breaking that third wall i want them just to concentrate on the emotion that it gives you not the technical aspects of it so that's why i don't like watermarks um but you know make more videos just make more they can't keep stealing them i mean they can but you just make more i don't know <laughs> flood the internet with videos they can't st every everyone will know your name if you flood it with videos right <laughs> like, oh, well, wow, it's eric and daryl again they have like a billion videos you can't not know who these guys are <laughs> like you know <laughs> maybe that's the answer maybe that is the answer yeah <laughs> uh, so. we do have a lot of videos man i i got it i mean i am impressed when You're i impressed. peruse <laughs> <laughs> our site i'm like that's a lot of fucking. Uh, we videos. have a uh, oh, 235 videos. It says on our channel now, oh, I, and I just know we have like triple that. I mean, we have yeah, we, we have a lot. I guess I never really looked at the number. Isn't there a way to see how many views you have to? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? That was Captain Coke. Nice. That's your content. Go after them. Cease and desist. Uh, uh, order. <laughs> Scare them off. 
Yeah, and that's part of the thing. I don't, uh, you know, we don't want to be like harsh and like be be known for those guys. Hey, good example would be like, you know, Lars or something during Napster days. You know, it's like, then you're known as those guys are like, come on, guys, like getting all angry at your own fans now and don't steal our stuff. So it's not like that, you know. It's just occasionally somebody will, you know, not give us credit. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, and I, I don't know how to express the thought behind this post-it note, but um, to, to really engage like where my head was from a philosophical and, and really this, this was all very uh, like a philosophical point of view. Like, you're the one human there, there's there's seven billion people on this planet and you are the one human being that is that little kid in that right. video yeah mm -hmm. and 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 you're trying to engage with people And how, like, how do you, I don't know, it's not, not, it's not, I wasn't thinking, how do you prove that you are who you are? So like, because, because I was looking at it from a philosoph philosophical standpoint, like, like, uh, uh. <laughs> head about to explode. Yeah, no, it's it's I don't know. I I guess I was just like on one of my weird tears. <laughs> I, I get like this. I get I get like so deep that I can't even remember like what the fuck I was thinking. Yeah. Oh yeah, Prescott said, uh, don't you also watch random videos on Instagram without concern for credit or context? Oh yeah, yeah, all the time. You know, like like Reddit too. Reddit Reddit's a good, you know, kind of a, a place for that. Like, you can scroll all day and like, you know, watch like you know, it, it's it's like uh, America's funniest home videos back in the eighties, right? You sc scroll and you see like somebody, you know, like a dashboard cam of like a tire that comes off of a car and then flips another car and then that car hits a truck and you're like whoa that was crazy and then you sw swipe to the next one you're like oh this one's cool too this guy jumped off a, <laughs> a roof and into a uh what he thought would be a trampoline but he fell in like a pile of poop uh and then you tr scroll again i'm not really looking at credits like who'd this come from who'd this come from but the people that created those things are looking for that credit because they earned it it's their video it's not up to me to care who's filming what. I, I'm not trying to police the internet. So, yeah, you're right. I, I flip through stuff all the time without concern for if credit's being, you know, is is duly, you know, noted or not. I I, I don't care. It, I only care, I guess, if I want to follow up on something and go, man, this guy was funny. I want to see his stuff. And I'm like, why is this stuff not there? You know? And then I'm like, ah, oh, well. And then I'll scroll again. I'm not interested that enough to go down a rabbit hole or to be you know to play detective or anything uh so you're you're right but but we're the creators of that content that that's why we would be upset and we're like come on what if someone wanted to follow up on it there's like ten thousand people that wanted to follow up but they found that it would take more than two seconds and like eh, i'm over it but yeah. had our link been in there all they had to do is click it and then all of a sudden we have ten thousand new subscribers and again it's not a number game it's like now we can expose our videos to people that genuinely want it, right? So it's a win-win, you know? Yeah. Like, they could have seen that 30-second video and realized, oh, it's a 10-minute video. They would have gotten... Right, you and know? now they can see the full video, exactly, yeah, instead of this little little clip, you know. Like, yeah, if they if they liked that bit, they they love all of it. And then, like, something else with the same right. characters, yeah. you know, like, so. And then one day, come to Huntsville and meet us, and we're all friends. I mean, you know, like, who knows? Like, we're like, man, this guy was really freaking cool. He found us on Reddit, you know? Like, I mean, it happens. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's another aspect because, like, 
I'm not necessarily angry at these people. I mean, obviously, it it would be kind of cool to meet them, right? Because like, yeah. oh, you you found this interesting enough to put it to like spend thirty minutes of your time <laughs> ripping it yeah. and and uploading it again. Um, yeah. Who are you? What's your backstory? Why did you find it interesting? You know, like what? How? Why? Why did this? Why was this interesting to you? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And JD said, I wouldn't you guys mind need to meeting start... that person and, and talking to them. Yeah. JD said, you get, you need to start a clip channel with Instagram reels and TikTok, and also like beat them to the punch, like put your own stuff out. And we've talked about that. So now we've we have, talked about that. We have yeah. TikTok and all that, and we yeah. are going to make clips and you're absolutely right. Like if you do it first and they can't do it. You already have it, you know. It's like exactly. You're you're totally right, hundred percent. Uh, just but, but I will I will say this. I I love you guys. You guys, the people who know us, know our content, because so many of you like find this stuff, and you'll not only let us know, you'll comment on it, you'll say, "Hey, this is Eric and Daryl." Hey, why aren't you giving Eric and Daryl the credit? You know, yeah. that that that's how we found that's blows how we find my out. mind. That that's how is how we amazing. find out about people. We yeah, like, stealing we don't, stuff. Yeah, we, we always get, get we'll get we ding ding and I'm like, well, my phone's yeah. going off and it's like five people going like they're tagging us going, "Why don't you give Eric and Daryl credit?" And it's like and then another guy's like, "Hey, Eric and Daryl, just letting you see this." And, and it's like, "Oh, cool." <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's fun. <laughs> I mean, not fun, but you know. Oh, it is helpful. fun. But um, thank you. Thank you, guys. You guys are yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, and the 86 people that are currently watching this at uh, hour three, I think we are. I think we should yeah. probably run the credits. But uh, <laughs> but you guys who are still here and, uh, you know, and, and watching us, rant about this stuff is pretty awesome <laughs> it um, has turned it into a rant and i'm sorry i started it no it's good this is it's been a good show fun show lots of behind the scenes lots of action my beer's almost empty we got credits rolling my the only question is what movie is this is this the same one from no i, I like i i think i, I changed it, it. Oh. and then i i don't even remember there's dancers Ooh, dance. Oh, I, okay. I don't even know what movie this is. Right? This is Teen Witch. Angela thinks it's Angela. Angela thinks, thinks this is Teen Witch. It Were could be. It dancers? very much, very well could be. <laughs> <sighs> Which is so funny, Teen Witch. That freaking dance. What? What a movie! What a movie! <laughs> Are you watching any uh, any movies, any shows lately, Daryl? You were watching Silo. You got me hooked on Silo. That's pretty yeah. Cool. Black Mirror watched... is pretty good too. The new season oh, of Black Mirror. you know what? I just noticed that a new Black Mirror was out. I have only seen the first two episodes. Did so you see I'm, Joan is awful? I am well behind on uh, Black Mirror. Oh, oh, the first two episodes that ever existed. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's like back. what six, seven. I don't know how many years. Oh yeah, Papa Smoke, top that. That's the song, top that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah. The the newest season is like uh, AI, like text to video, like the implications of uh, AI video, yeah. like Netflix putting out videos or mo a, a TV show about like a celebrity without their permission. It, it, it's interesting. It's all like t very topical stuff, you know. All right. Um, but yeah, that's a good show. Um, we watched the, uh, oh, the, oh, that show with the, with the guy from IT crowd, the Irish guy, uh, called, uh, Big Door Prize on Apple Plus. It's, um, about, uh, a mysterious machine that appears in a convenience store one night. Ooh. The whole town is enthralled <laughs> with this machine. And, uh, oh, they're, they're, they're enthralled with the machine that yeah, shows up in the Irish town. They're like, yes. oh, what is this? I've never <laughs> seen it. The like of it before in my life. <laughs> what is it? Don't know. But we'll find out, right? A mystery. Chris O'Dowd, that's his name, yeah. 
yeah it, it's cool it's, it's a fun one um uh yeah a couple good shows coming out these days still would like to uh burn through some more episodes of knight rider though but i'm season but one of that but i'm i'm almost but done rewatching but all the episodes but of but but growing but pains on the last season so. man isn't it crazy when you watch like network television from the past so mm-hmm. many episodes right oh yeah hundreds they were yeah. like 22 episodes a year right Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, or a season. Now, now yeah. you're lucky if you get ten. Oh yeah, ten is like yeah, ten maybe eight. Yeah, eight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they really slowed down on that. Yeah. What can you do? It's like, man, how what did they make do? so much television <laughs> back in the day? Well, I think we're gonna head out. So <sighs> it's been an absolute delight. But, we thank uh, you all. We might have a little, something a little special after the credits here, but I'm just saying, you know, for those ten people that left already, you're gonna wish you didn't. Anyway, but no, really, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for uh, joining the membership, everybody. That's freaking great. We're gonna keep growing this whole library of videos, um, but we have some. We have a huge video coming out on the main channel. Um, and uh, I gotta really get cracking on the editing of this because it's a it's kind of a kind of a monster. So uh, this is something we filmed months ago, I think. Months ago, yeah. But anyway, it's gonna be awesome. So much planned for the future, and uh, we'll probably have another live stream in July. So yep. Thanks a bunch, everybody. Cheers to all the super chatters this evening. Cheers to you. <laughs> And uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye. You're still here? It's over. Go home.